Welcome to the season four finale of Anime Amigo. Season Ooh. four! My I'm, god! As we got a lot to get on with, I'm just introductions. I'm Calvin Axton, the Pokemon punk. I'm Mr. Brendan Piru. Sorry, folks. None maybe, of this is usable. maybe the sacred texts aren't in this dimension. Maybe they're th maybe they're through there. Let us go into the wormhole, boys. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, guys, we're in the Star Wars dimension. <laughs> we're in the Star Wars universe. My God, maybe the sacred texts will be here. I remember Luke Skywalker specifically saying, "What do you mean you're my sister? What the fuck, Lucas? Come on, guys." Let's go find it. Oh, I wonder what Star Wars character will meet first. I hope it's Obi Wan or Qui Gon. Jinn. Jar Jar. Oh God. <laughs> Get back. Who said you? <laughs> you said you here. Me said Jar Jar Binks. Hello. Get back to the fucking wormhole. Get back to the fucking wormhole. <laughs> you are never allowed to go on holiday ever again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh here's the text. All right, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, I have here the sacred text. It was shown here the opinions on anime that are more important than ours, the true facts. So, sacred no. text, tell us whose opinion is more important than ours. Fuck off your slack. Well, that pretty much proves it. Ours is the, ours opinions on anime is the most important, it has been written by God, it's in the Bible somewhere. I don't fucking know, either way, our opinions are more important than yours. With well, that said, this is our enemy of the year. I'm not sure yeah. how much of that was caught on the, on the audio, but I'm, I'll be interested to hear afterwards. I was <laughs> shouting pretty loud, it'd be pretty yeah. Yeah. I saw a, a lot of spike on the audio. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome for, <laughs> to the 2020 Anime of the Year competition, which this year for the first and last, I am stressing this last time, will be 10 nominees. <laughs> I am not doing this shit again. Well, you probably be surprised. Well, it depends if there's a tie in, in this year's Anime Mastermind. Yeah. Guys, uh, well actually, uh, guys, on a serious note, what did you guys think of 2020 as a whole? Very mediocre. Yeah. Apart yeah. from last season. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I'd say definitely. I, I thought it, it was one of those where it went, do you know what it was? It's like, you're on a, sh it, it, it's, um, you know how you get sold on, it's going to be amazing when you're on a plane, you're going to see all, the, you're going to see all sorts of making shit, and then when you actually get on it, it's just ocean for ages, and you occasionally, yeah. Seeing an island, and you were a little bit interested in it. Mm. That's what it felt like with anime community. It's, um, it was a bit. It was a bit like a. Uh, there was nothing. Am I would say there's nothing amazing that came out this year. Yeah. The last two years, especially, there have been amazing shows like your, like uh, a place by the universe, Violet Evergarden, Vin Saga, Demon Slayer, Golden uh, Orphans, and Golden yeah. Orphans, Promise Everland. Honestly, yeah. We have, but it, it does feel like this was a. I mean, the big C word is obviously. Cows. Cows, that's Cows. it. Cows, those bovines. Calvid, yes. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, it's so basement. <laughs> Look, let's get into <laughs> Calvin. <laughs> no, sorry, you're saying it wrong. It's Baldine. Ah! <laughs> I, got, I fractured a finger last time we did that in here. I'm not, I'm willing to go that way again just to piss you off. Oh, you want, you're willing to go somewhere with your finger there, Calvin? Calvin Will. <laughs> Calvin. Will, we finally, will we finally have my Calvin Reese fan fiction come to life? At last, at long last. Well, that, the, the that, that really starts for you two during the show. Please <laughs> give the masters what they want. <laughs> Reese, can yeah. you kill me now, please? Yes. Um, Are we about to get murder live on there? Oh my god. I will be so oh. for. I was going to not <laughs> it. I was about to say, if any of us is going to do it, I think it's going to be Reese. Mm. It's, it's silent but deadly. It's always a silent touch in that respect. Yeah. Um, Strong silent. But uh, the thing that bothered me most about 2020's anime as a whole was the fact it really felt like the really good stuff was few and far between. Yeah. 
And I don't think COVID was the entire thing. Yeah, there was a bunch of delays and a bunch of cancellations, but I don't think it would have made this, it, this year much better if these actions were Like, look at what got delayed. You had Apare Rama, ReZero, Re -Zero, No Gun Live. Uh, Sly, Prize Over Land again. Yeah. yeah, but those will come out. We would have only had like the first half of them. I feel like those shows actually have improved, are better. Like, Slime is going to be much better now that they're going to have the entire run in 2021. Yeah. yeah. I think the only thing that would have been improved is I would have seen the second half of ReZero yeah. if um, COVID hadn't been a thing, and that would have been much better. I mean, we'll talk about ReZero when the time comes, but um, Elliot, it's always tradition, honorable mention. Okay, Did well, make our list? Uh, well, the, uh, well, first of all, I'd like to know that so many of these I do kind of wish would have made it on the list, because some of these are really, are really good and definitely deserve to be on there. And uh, also, you thought that last year's, the 27 was a lot, this time we have 45. So I'm going to try and get through, through them as quickly as I can. So, what's going to happen by the order so it's not ranked? Uh, first of all, a certain scientific accelerator. Mm -hmm. Sorry, a certain scientific railgun team. Reese, you can to take the floor? Oh, it's just absolutely amazing. It's the third season of Railgun, and everyone needs to watch it for Can I say it. thank you for not picking it? Because oh, I, yeah. I, 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 I babble we have made the deal that um, I am going to watch uh, a certain scientific, the certain scientific franchise. I'm starting it this year. Yeah, okay, so why I should start with three seasons of Index, Accelerator now, three seasons of Railgun. Mm -hmm. That's I will, like six seasons. Index plus. is the first one, right? Yeah. I promise I'm starting that this year. Yeah. Okay, uh, and for what I know, skip season three for that one. Yeah. Okay, number two, number two Adachi and Shimomura, and Shimomura, another one of those LGBT animes are two people, be, two gay people being very gay. However, more, this time it's more one woman symptom of the other. And honestly, I think it's very adorable. I know. I don't think all of us were the biggest fans. I still really enjoyed it. What's the end of the scope of Wars? He gave a lot of wins and nominations to it. Yeah. Okay. Number three, Akudama Driver. Uh, I'll let Calvin take the floor because I didn't that see it. That one's great. That's yeah. basically just anime suicide squad. But good. But good. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, no, James Gunn might not be a good one. Mm. Okay, number four. Okay, number four, Arte. A very enjoyable show about art and a base of, I believe, Renaissance Italy or something like that? Yep. Yeah. That, 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 yeah. That yeah. Well, a lot with, um, the yeah. discrimination against women. Next, time. Yeah, during that, during that time. It was really very enjoyable. The characters are great. Uh, great artwork, really enjoyable. Number five, Bo Fury. I don't want to get her, so I might on my defense. Essentially, the opposite to Kirito. If Kirito went full defense, except this one was actually pretty. Except this one was actually very good, even though it did play like the same song ten times per fucking episode. Pretty good. Well, it did have a lot of good number references, so. Yeah, I don't love that. Number, number six, Castlevania season three. After the, after the death of Dracula, I was like, okay, it can't get any better than this. They somehow did it. Seriously, this has become my favorite thing on Netflix. I absolutely fucking love it. Brilliant Bill Nye performance. It's not this That's year. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, so right. last year, what, we what, completely forgot about what it. Happened to, what happened to our conception of time in 2020? I know. I thought that was like looking on the 2019. Or okay, number seven, Dan Machi season three. Season three, the best season I've done Machi so far. I can guarantee this is what turned a very good show into a very great show, as they did something that no other Isekai like show has done before, which is uh, making the monsters sympathetic, making them human and uh, humanizing them. I absolutely love this. Seriously, if you have not watched it, you owe it to yourself to watch it just for this season. Number eight, Decadence. I know, I know, some of us weren't really the biggest fan of that. Personally, I still did enjoy. I still did enjoy it. I thought the characters were great. The art, the the, the character designs and art style was great. You were a minority on that one, Reese. Yeah. Personally, I still thought, think it was very great. Number nine, Diaries of Our Diaries of Our Days at Breakwater. A very charming, very was all right. very soft uh, anime about uh, about fishing. I would say it's somewhere in, the, in like. I'm not like the same genre as laid back camp, like just yeah. something to relax yeah. to. Yeah, but now I'm watching laid back camp, I'm really realizing, wow, that was way better. Yeah, yeah. I like it was way better, but I still thought this one was alright. Number ten, Digimon Adventures. Uh, the remake of the remake of Digimon. I don't think any of us at all, but we ended up getting, and it was pretty good actually. I we're, well, gonna, we're, we're gonna sum up our thoughts on a year, uh, on it a year later in April. Yeah. So that's yeah. our. I'm not confirming that's our. Yeah, and um, every yeah. and yeah. and now that's on Crunchyroll, I'm gonna like every time I watch an episode of Digimon Adventures, I'm gonna watch the original afterwards. You're gonna get some. Uh, wait till you get to my notice one. Okay, uh, well, number well, eleven, Doki Doki. I know that. Number eleven, Doki Doki. Don't. I know that Ren talked about this one after, so I'll give him the floor. Yeah, I, I literally only started watching it about a week ago, and it was stuck in Netflix for at least. I think and it was May. It was and it's, crunch, and it's Crunchyroll anime of the year nominee. It's fucking mm. really good. It's three D anime, and it's so stylish. It, it, it changes between two D and three D. Yeah, we don't got time quickly. So it, it's it's so stylish, but it. Should have been nominated. It's not. Yeah, the, 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 two seconds. The art style. No, is, no, because I, I nearly wanted to watch 
fit. So I'm here, I'm about to talk about this show. I haven't had a chance. Okay, we okay, maybe maybe we have got time. Maybe some other time. Number twelve, Dragon Qu Dragon Quest: The Adventure of Little Tai. I've I've personally been really getting into Dragon Quest this year. I'd be uh Dragon Quest Eleven just up just this week. A, an amazing game. This is a really good show. Probably a remake from one that came <laughs> came out before. I would have soaked this up if I watched it as a as a, if I, as I was a kid. It was really good. Number thirteen, Fire Force season two. Another generally really enjoyable season of really really good season of Fire of Fire Force. I know Reese has a watch more of it, and he says he it really is enjoyable. It really is and especially our surprise ending. I'm waiting for the dub to be finished to watch. Yeah, I'm it. definitely gonna definitely gonna try and catch up on it as soon as I can. Number fourteen, Through Wars season three, the last season of Through the last season of Through Wars, and honestly, it does kind of feel like it. It does feel like they're kind of extending it more than it should. I still thought, hey, it's still Through Wars, it's still the great characters. It was not quite as good as the previous season. Still pretty good. Good conclusion. Yeah. Yeah. Number fifteen, Fruits Basket season two. I'm generally surprised Cam didn't put this up for anime of the year because by God, this is such a good season. When next year? Yeah. Next year. We finally, we finally got mo much. We finally got a lot more chemistry between the between the leads. We got an amazing villain with Akito. Seriously, this was a Who's great. Who's best antagonist? Thank yeah, I've actually voted for her best antagonist. Thank you. Seriously, she, it was great. Number sixteen. Number sixteen, Gladnir. It was alright. It was alright. Like it was essentially Mia and Nikki. It was essentially Mia and Nikki, but with football mascots. I know it's kind of mixed, but personally, when I watch it, I didn't enjoy it. Yeah. Number seventeen, God of, Number seventeen, God of High School. If it wasn't for Tony Kara, it would be the best Switch Roll original, aside from like I think the one Reese watched, like Onyx something. Oh, uh, Onyx Equinox. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm yeah. I still personally, I still really enjoyed it. The fight scenes were re were really good. I know like Ren wasn't a big fan of it by the end, and yeah, I would prefer it if it just stuck with the usual. Quite a fan of that one. Thing, but, yeah, but personally, yeah. I still really enjoy it. I thought it was great. Yeah, let's yeah. let, let's yeah. one. Number eighteen, Go uh, Golden Camry season season three. Golden Camry is back. It might be this might have been the weakest season, but I still thought it was really good. We got more from a series first part. From the Seraphus Father, we got so of course more of the amazing characters. And uh, come on, you cannot. And uh, come on, anything with the turns to the end, you're gonna love it. Actually, I thought this was one of the strongest scenes. Yeah, I did actually. Really? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Honestly, okay. okay. I still think the first season is the best one. Yeah, I stand by that yeah. one. But okay. I think um, three seconds. See, okay, number nineteen, high Q to the top season four. Calvin, I'll let you say this one. Brilliant. Excellent. Oh, you so wrong. You're wrong. <laughs> Not nearly as good as season one to three. I'm it's sorry. still it's still high Q though, and I'm yeah, looking forward to season five. Stretched. Overstretched. So okay. good. Okay, okay. number twenty, Higurashi no Nakakura ni Go. Jim, I'm a big fan of the Richard Higurashi. He's my favorite horror anime. While I don't think this is quite as good, I do like that it's sort of taking a different direction. Like thinking, hey, what happens if they make a different direction? If they make different choices within these, and how much it could change? They do a pretty good job of it, in my opinion. I still really enjoy it. The UR style is brilliant. Number twenty-one, ID Invaded. One personally for me, this is my anime of winter. It still is. I feel like this is a very, and uh, this is a just a very generally very good. Really good anime, kind of, which might be a bit of like that terrible movie The Cell. So, like, going into the mind of Oh, Jesus, I forgot about that. Yeah, film. seriously, oh. seriously, no, I personally thought it was really good. Number 22, Inspector, aka the show that made us keep going, oh yeah, that exists. Yeah. Yeah, it, we kept forgetting it throughout the year, but personally, I still thought it was really good. I still enjoyed it when I watched it. Uh, I thought the, the mystery and intrigue was very good. It's getting a second season, and you know what? I'm kind of looking forward to it. I think it's going to be pretty good. What about um, number twenty three? And you know this is coming up. Interspecies with viewers. Say what about the ever see one anime to be kicked off of Crunchyroll by Funimation. Oh, Fun Funimation's Funimation. Sorry. By God, I that is just up there for that. I'm no, sure for the hilarious meme this morning yeah. about that. Number twenty four. Isekai Isekai Quartet season two. Thank you, believe we're only halfway. Isekai Quartet season season two. It's great to see all these characters interacting with one another. In, in the in the school again it is once again absolutely hilarious. It, despite the fact that we didn't see much of Shield Hero in it, I still thought it was really good. What's next? Number twenty number twenty five, Kakushi Goto. One I personally would I? one I personally would love to see on the main list, but sadly it's not, which is a shame because yeah. it's such if a good show. If I had one more wild card, it would have been on there. Yeah, the because it's such it's such it's generally such an enjoyable show. Uh, the cap the yeah. characters are great and hilarious. Yeah, I really liked it. Uh, Kime is adorable. Goto is hilarious. Yeah. Personally, I just absolutely adore this anime. Okay, Number okay. 26, Billionaire Detective Balance Unlimited. Essentially, if Bruce Wayne decided not to become Batman and decided to become a, a, a detective instead. Yeah. This was, once again, a, pre this was a pretty funny one. I personally really enjoyed it. I know Ren wasn't too big a fan of it. Yeah, it's alright. I, I, still, I still enjoyed it in the, long, in the long run. It was the best thing I saw. One of the best things I saw in the summer. And number twenty, number twenty-seven, Misfit of the Demon in the Demon King Academy, aka the biggest surprise of the year as to how yeah. good it was. I was expecting it to be pretty bad, but it turns out it 
like a pretty bad Easter kind of like world of a power gap. It turns out it's practically a parody of that without funny yeah. enough a power to use. Next is Jeremy Fairy and Jeremy. Number 28, another one that I kind of wish was on the main list. My excitement's a bit on this All Roads Lead to, lead to Doom. What, by God, the best isekai that came out this year. It was so, so good, enjoyable. It had some of the best characters, some of the best designs. And I'm just, to best voice now, yeah. Katarina Kleist won best uh, protagonist for me. Oh, well, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. I can see justification for that. Yeah. Okay, uh, number, tw number 29, Pokemon Twilight Wings. I know Reese watched most of this, so you can... Oh, that's it. absolutely amazing. As the, one of the best art styles of the year. I agree with that one, yeah. It's, um, did you watch the DLC one? No, no, yeah. Uh, DLC one's really good. I really need to catch up on this. I've heard it's really good. Okay, number 30, Princess Connect Dive. I know you both watched oh, that. Oh, amazing. Yes. Surprisingly, yes. that was really good. I'm genuinely surprised it got as popular as it did. I, I, really, need, I really need to catch up on it. I've heard it, it's, it's really funny. I dropped out my first episode. I just a couple of episodes because yeah, yeah, it was Because like, it was me championing it. Yeah, and then the second, and the, and it's already confirmed the second season yeah. and the mobile game. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 so yeah, I'm definitely going to try and watch that. I guess that's Number 31, Rent a Girlfriend. Some of the best girls and one of the most trash protagonists. So it's overall, overall, that's, overall, that's our controversial one. Yeah, sure. Overall, it was still pretty enjoyable. Overall, I did still, I did still enjoy it, even though, even though at times it did get great. It did get great. We are getting a season two. I am generally looking forward to that one. Number 32, another one where I was just like, oh yeah, that's the thing. Science fell in love and I tried and I tried to prove it. Essentially the anti cocky is someone with two people trying to I mean they love to while I'm just thinking, can we prove that we are? <laughs> it, once again it has some really it has some really funny characters, yeah. some great designs. I personally and yeah, I do enjoy this one. Another one for me personally, number 33, Shadowverse. I did drop this up for a while because it did get annoying, but when I watched it first, I did enjoy it, even to the point where I, sh where I tried the mobile. The mobile game. However, miss most of you on this because despite the fact that we got a new Yu-Gi-Oh and a new Vanguard out this year, it was somehow the best card game anime. I'm yeah, serious. I, I'm not supposed to have the first episode. I'm, I'm serious. Yeah, seriously, don't don't watch Card Fight here. For Card Fight Vanguard here. It's essentially just why Vanguard was a magical girl show. Oh dear. Well. Number thir number thirty four. Seen yesterday. Seen yesterday for me. It wasn't. It was a most of our anime of the sea, original of the season. Personally, if it was up to me, I would replace it now with. Uh, Kikuchi go to a couple of mics after the villain this. However, it was. Spring yesterday was winter. Yeah. How, no, it, spring yesterday was spring. No, it was winter. I'm, I'm no, it was, it was spring. It was after I was it was, it was spring, yeah. So, yeah, but yeah, it was very enjoyable. Yeah, personally, I did find it very enjoyable. The characters were pretty relatable and like, and pretty like, well, I know the ending yeah, wasn't that great. The ending does kind of suck, but, but the journey to it wasn't yeah. good. Yeah. It's better in the manga. Number 35, CP Princess and the Demon Castle, this show was funnier than I have any yeah. right to be. Yeah. How is it that the princess is a, that the princess who is held captive by the demon lord is more powerful than anything in the world? Yeah. And only to try and get sleep. It is generally really hilarious. One of the funniest things that came out this year. Uh, number oh shit, Elliot's right. Yeah. Yeah. Number 36. Oh, fuck. Oh, uh, number 36, one I think Calvin might remember, a smile down the runaway. Well yeah, that was all right. I, yeah. I didn't go nuts for it, but it was a decent show. Yeah, I, I watched it. I thought it was okay. okay. Number th number thirty seven, Somali and the Somali and the Forest Spirit. Essentially Kino's journey by the fantasy world, aside from the other one I that we decided to consider it. It was really like an enjoyable. Somali was adorable, the golem was 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 enjoyable. The world was Fascinating. The, ma the manga is now finished because of the manga. Right? It's, that's right. a real shame about that. Yeah, yeah which yeah, is a, sh a shame. But um, hey, I sip, but it was still really enjoyable. I'm, I'm glad you got to finish the story, though. Yeah, yeah, very happy. Yeah, well done, man. Number 38, Super Hex Heroes. By God, this sucked! This was terrible. This is, I'm not kidding, this is the that's worst a, anime I've ever seen. This is a moment. Okay. Yes, this is the worst, and not joking, this is the worst anime I've ever seen. It wins that award. You're going to have to do a fucking ton to beat that one. Okay, number thirty-nine, Talentless Nana. Essentially, essentially, My Hero Academia mixed oh, with Dang mixed with Dangan Rumpa. Yeah. It's generally very, very, very yeah. enjoyable. I didn't enjoy it quite as much as everyone else did, but I still thought it was really. I really. Enjoyed it. Enjoyed it. I hope we get a second season of it because another manga is still. Yeah, we have more. Yeah, because yeah, anime stopped halfway through all the manga. Okay, another one for Cameron to explain. Uh, Toilet Bound Helicon. Really like it. Nice designs. Uh, pretty good action and a very catchy OP. Mm -hmm. Honestly, very good, but I don't think it stacks up too well when by the end of the year. Yeah. Okay, uh, number four, number forty-one, Tower of Tower of God. Personally, yeah, it, it wasn't that great, but I've heard it just get much better after the prologue. I just think this first season was fun. I do hope we get a second season because I did generally enjoy it. I think the second season has been confirmed. That's good. Confirmed. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's, but I did still like the world and characters were were very interesting. Yeah. And I do still really want, I want to see more of this. 
Number 42, Uzaki Chan wants to hang out. A show I thought was, an, at first I thought was kind of annoying and cringy, to something I was laughing at the entire way through. Which yeah. is, My god, this was so enjoyable. And in the same year, season that it, this species for viewers and, and uh, Super Hex Heroes came out. How was this the most controversial anime to come out this year? Yeah. Seriously, seriously, grow the hell up, guys. I hate to see you guys. I, I pray to those of you who decide to watch Redo of a Healer this season. Oh, 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 and yeah. by the way, I do, I, I'm going to watch it the entire way through. I promise you that. You poor, poor... I've actor. already read some of the manga. I know what's coming up. <laughs> number four, number 43. Three, wondering which the journey, the journey of a lane. Once again, Kino's journey for, for in a fantasy setting to the point where it's both light and fluffy, but also dark yeah. as hell. Honestly, I adore this show. I love this show. The world is interesting. The characters are great. Seriously, this was amazing. Number forty-four, another one from me. Wave, listen to me. Essentially, a woman who is only really good at arguing, becoming the radio host. I really enjoyed this when I watched it. I thought the. Uh, I thought the voice acting and the characters were very, were very likable. It's just a really good show. I think that's a good show, yeah. yeah. And last one, for, and last one, uh, one for Reese to explain. For number forty-five, Yashihime, uh, Princess, Princess Happy. Basically, she calls it Inuyasha. She just got nominated for best character designs. Oh yeah, it did. Yeah. Yes. Basically, if you love uh, Inuyasha, you deserve to see this. Okay, so here's the thing I want to say on this one, Elliot. Yeah. If this had been any other year. If this anime came out, say, a lot of those anime came out in, say, 2019, would they have been made the honorable mention list? I think, like, half of them will probably be taken off. Exactly, exactly. It does feel like a weird, weird for anime. Yeah, I, I, I remember my dad actually saying, when I told him how many he had, he said, okay, it's either because a lot of really good things came out this year, or a lot of very bad things came out this year. I think it's more the latter, but, um... Yeah, it's, it, as I said, it was a very mediocre year. These are mostly the ones that sort of stood out. But of these ten... I think we're on a very strong ten list. Oh yeah. yeah. I think the I think we I think we I also think we got a really good choice at each seat. I think the only one where we were really debating which one's going forward was um, four. Mm. There was a genuine debate. Whereas and in the end, like half of our list is like four, which it, which I think reflects the year, which it wasn't very good winter season, decent spring, compromised but okay summer. And a brilliant fall. That's what our list looks like. Yeah. So um, we're going to we're going to talk about our brief thoughts on each of them at the end of the year, and then compare them mm -hmm. towards the end. On us, but we're going to do them as usual. We're doing them in release order. Mm -hmm. So we we'll start, and somehow we always start with our best of winter yeah. uh, first each time. Seriously, we started the best of winter in twenty um, eighteen was Bar Evergarden, and we started it with that one. And last year was Mob Psycho one hundred season two. Yeah. At the same time, Resident Shield Hero did also come out in winter. Yeah, but, came, yeah, but it came out after Mob Psycho, so I'm saying that means we picked. Oh, okay. uh, the point I'm saying is our best of winter always seems to be the first one that gets yeah. released. Yeah. So keep that in mind for this year. Um, I don't mean to happen this year because I think some better things came out later. Um, shall we talk about Keep Your Hands Off Eyes Open? Yeah. Yes. So uh, this is our best of winter. We don't really like this one. It's the only winter nominee on the list. Yeah. Um, I mean, it wasn't. Never, I remember it wasn't my top five. But I think it was like number three or four, honestly. But we all kind of picked it because we thought it was um, uh, collectively the one we liked the most. What are we yeah. thinking at the end of the year? Do you have much thoughts on it this one? Um, I'm still really in, in love with it. I yeah. love the humor, love the art style. It's quite a unique plot. It it did. Do you know what it, it felt like to me? It felt like one of our hangouts. Mm. It felt like just one of our hangouts got turned into an anime. You know what? It, you know what? It also reminded me of. Uh, you, have you guys heard of Bakuman? Uh, I've yeah. heard of it. I'm not. Yeah. It's uh, it's it's done by the same guys as the Death Note. It's essentially about two uh, two people who are wanting to try and become famous man manga artists for show and jump and help and potentially get the an, an anime. It kind of feels like that, but them trying to make an anime rather than make manga. And by the way, if you haven't checked out Bakuman, seriously do this. It's one of my favorite manga. So, um, what are your thoughts on Naito Ken? I'm, I'm with Reese. I'm still following it. I think the characters are some of the most memorable we've had. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I, I still remember them. That's the main thing. Um, and yeah, as, as I said, the plot is interesting. I mean, it was really unique, and the art style changes were great. I still really mm -hmm. like this show. I think they paced it a bit weirdly. Yeah, I, it's, I, I, I will admit. Uh, well, here's my thoughts. It's like it's all building up to them making their own anime. Yeah. And then we get to that point like two or three episodes before the finale. Yeah. And then they're just kind of treading water, hoping for a second season. Yeah, like It does feel like a bit of a weird ending, if you can Yeah, the ending 
it was kind of a, it was definitely something that kind of drew me out of it a little bit because it doesn't feel like it was, it was like a proper ending to a season. It just feels like it stops. Yeah. Like it feels like we, we should be getting more, but it, but instead it's just it just kind of feels like an end of an episode rather than end of a season um, or a series or whatever. I think I think in terms of all the nominees, we have it's the most unique in terms of animation. Yeah. Yeah. Which, because it's it's like you say it's got those um, confusing styles and you know it's because it's the characters from and the and learning. I think the only other one we have looking at one of the nom uh, uh, looking at our ten nominees, I think the only one has another sort of quite unique. Style is Jujutsu Kaisen to a certain extent. Honestly, I was like BNA. Yeah, BNA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, BNA is made by Trigger, so we, we yeah. sort of expect yeah. that now. Yeah. Like, Trigger's not going to have the same effect now that they had years down the line because we've gotten very used to Studio Trigger. It's a bit like how. Um, here's a good analogy. Uh, that being said, I was still blown away by Chroma. Yeah. 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 Here's, here's, the ana oh, yeah. here's the analogy I have for it. It's. Um, uh, it, it, uh, Nintendo Switch came out, and we suddenly uh, got really amazed like these home console games you can play on the go. But then after a couple of years, we've kind of gone, oh yeah, that's nice, and we kind of forgot the feature uh, a bit more. It doesn't impress us as much, but we're still happy we have it. I think that Studio Trigger was me at the minute. Yeah, I think so. But pro I should say Promare really was the one who made me fall back in love with it because it's like, oh my god, they've yeah. still got some amazing yeah. talent. Well, it's for sure it came out swinging when they first formed with Kill the Kill. Yeah, I do think um, I don't can, it's not as in depth on the anime industry as say something like Shirabako. Mm -hmm. Well, no, no, I mean that's yeah, at the same time, it's, it's just kind of like a club for yeah. it's, it's a small yeah. school club. It's not like going to be like going to be like oh. massive. Like to go back to go back to Bakuman, uh, you you see in that all the ways that Shonen Jump works. You see like how the editors work, how the management works. You see how everything within Shonen Jump like works. It feels like very much a. Uh, a love letter to Jump. Uh, Isaacin is just like a little, just a small anime group making anime because they enjoy it. I also like the fact they're very unique in terms of their character design. Yeah. Got a very short, short. Got a, it's a like short goblin type. Got short, got short Tom Hyperactive. Yeah. Small creature. <laughs> yeah. Just, uh, I wonder who of us in the group is that one. <laughs> <laughs> Carol. <Yeah. laughs> um, you've got the tall business type. Sayaka. Sayaka, yeah, and you've got. Um, uh, and then you've got the stereotypical anime char character who's, who, who I... The, the pretty one, quite right. <laughs> What's that make Calvin then? You could be the sound design guy? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's actually... <laughs> yeah, we just walk in and he's just dead on the floor. <laughs> um, I do like the fact they went into things like um, um, sound effects and all that. Yes. Like, it, it does feel very clear that it's... Uh, do you know what it's familiar by Zoken? It's, um, uh, it stands out... But I couldn't tell you a single episode. I couldn't tell you like an episode that I really loved with it. I couldn't. I think the one that comes to mind is that one with the room with like the white canvas for it, and they sort of animate their way out of it. I think yeah. the only things really that are incredibly memorable for me, honestly, was just like the first film that they made. And I think I think I think kind of after that, it it was still it was still great. It was still something I remember. But it's not like there's no specific moment or no specific thing about the show that I can. Properly remember. See, I, I like that element you were talking about uh, with with Bakuman, which kind of has the you know the, the industrial side of it, where, whereas Aizoken is kind of like bottom up. Because um, like like you were saying, you know, forming links with wasn't wasn't it Gundam group uh, who were in school as well? Yeah. And they were yeah, and yeah, they were also the, the group. yeah, that's it. Yeah, and they were using designs. It, yeah. it seemed really interesting the thinking of ideas, but yeah, like some some of them were a bit indistinct because the prominent episodes were the movies they were making. Yeah. I will say though, um, this is the first um, science sa anime made by Science Saru that we all four of us um, really reviewed quite favourably. Oh, it's going to be. Oh, Japan Snakes! Japan oh, Snakes. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it was favourite <been> comedy! <laughs> and everyone. And then. Um, it oh, no, Charles, look out! Stones! <laughs> ah, yes! Bondi Towers, the anime! Japan Snakes! I love the fact with Japan Snakes that that moment was meant to be this really, really. Emotional moment, and it's just, I just pissed myself off laughing. Yeah, we did as well. Yeah, right? It's like that one scene I mentioned in Super X Zero as well, it's just meant to be super dramatic, but I was just thinking, just fucking dead! It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's so like, fucking dead. Because you're about that, I mean, hysterics was the landmine bit. Oh, yes. That I have not. I was. I, I have not. I seen, swear I can hit the limit. <laughs> I have not. I was supposed to do it. I have not seen. 
seen it. I want to now. Just I haven't seen just it. I haven't seen just it. Just I'm watching. Just I'm totally going to. Me too. Well, the minute The Rock hit the kid, I was immediately thinking, uh, let's just have that, we'll be right back in the, yeah. from, uh, from, from, from the Eric Osmond show. Eric Osmond show. Yeah. Do, 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 do. No, I was, I, I would imagine it would be more like the bit from JoJo's. Just do, 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 do. Yeah, well, literally, Japan right. sings. It's the best incidental comedy of the year. Yeah. <laughs> do you want to find a reason, though? Same director. I think it's directed by the same director as um, Devilman Crybaby. Mm. Oh. And it seems like he knew, I think he's learned from his, uh, I, would, I would say he's learned from his mistakes with Devilman Crybaby, but we're the only people are, that are reviewing that unfavorably. Yeah. Well, I, I think probably, because he had his own, because he was given um, Devil Mask, which is obviously like a very, pro, uh, very popular mm. franchise. Well, yes, but that's a lot more manga compared well, to Devil Yeah, Mark whereas Isaac came to his own original creation. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 Isaac's came to based on the manga as well. Oh, is it? Yeah, but the point is he's he was adapting an ongoing manga rather than oh, finished okay. one, and it wasn't a mandate yeah. to get the entire thing in ten fucking episodes. That's, like that's, that's, that's the thing about the both Japan Six and Devil May Cry movie. You can't pad these stories in ten episodes. Japan Six instantly is paced way better. It's, yeah. it, like it does feel. I would say Japan Six does feel like one movie that's yeah. like, rather than. Devil May Cry, which feels like uh, uh, the highlight of a series yeah. where I wish I'd watched. I'm just gonna say, uh, Devil May Cry Baby winning anime best anime 2018 was this was the biggest sin I think the anime. Yeah, the, uh, especially since Violet Evergarden was nominated again. And uh, yeah, and uh, Pace Runner in the Universe. Yeah. I think any show that kept, that was nominated. What should have won over Devil May Cry? Uh, there was nominated against uh, Hina Matsuri, and I think I would have. Uh, Hina Matsuri, yeah. Okay. I think it, I think I would have been a bit off if that had won, but it, yeah. I wouldn't, yeah. it wouldn't have been the yeah, hold like, me I, back. Like I'm definitely one of those people who think Hina Matsuri is very overrated. Like yeah. they say it's the funniest thing. I was just that came out this year. I was just thinking, has that been some best thing? Have you forgotten yeah, that? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, but okay, so we move on to uh, the next one. So uh, it's uh, Reese's Wild yep. first wild card BNA. Hey. Are you ready to go? Cause you know the way to go. We're not going to try. We're not going to. Incidentally, um, I'm a spoiler for later, my favorite OP this year. Really? Yeah, no, I love the BNA OP. I've been, I, I've, um, unfortunately I can't buy it on iTunes, but I have bought, uh, which is annoying because I have yeah, it. It's on Spotify. Uh, it is on Spotify. Do you know what's just coming out of music though? Uh, the Persona 5 soundtrack. Woo! I can tell I bought that on my walk home yesterday. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude! Well, uh, all the Persona uh, soundtracks, one to five, are up on Spotify. Yeah, they're all now on Apple yeah. Music as well, though, so I'm glad that. So I'm, I'm hopeful that some of these Japanese centric soundtracks are going to start coming out. Yeah. Well, like, like, seriously, I don't know if we have any Myth and Roid albums here, but I would yeah. fucking want them. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, thank you. Yeah. But, um, sure, uh, when it comes to VNA, we can't just talk about the soundtrack, because the fact the soundtrack is really good. Yeah. It's got a great OP and a great ED. What do you guys think overall of the series? I'll start with you, Reese, because you nominate this. Why was this a big, I have to nominate this for anime of the year? It just does everything so well. The unique art style, great characters, great lore. It's literally the full package of an anime. I, um, honestly, for me, I feel like one of the problems I have with it is the same way I have with Promare, which is it's very predictable. Mm. Like, you know, like, you know immediately, like, oh, they're the villain, and oh, she's not going to be as nice. I think, the, uh, I think the OP gives away a bit too much. Yeah, yeah. I think the weird thing about the um about I think um it for me is it's the second anime that's come along that I've seen on Netflix, which is basically anime Zootopia. Yeah, yeah that's the thing. It's it's a, a trend that's begun. Honestly, reason, that's wait, just quickly, what would you say is better though, BNA or Beastars? Beastars. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go with BNA. Personally, I'll say Beastars. I would say Beastars. Yeah. Well, uh, okay, uh, Reese, what's your argument for why it's better than Beastars, for example? Well, I just thought that it goes more step about the culture of racism. Oh yeah, no, I think yeah. I think there's definitely more of a hint of like the, the, the racism allegory, yeah. especially I, the backstory of Shura. I don't think Beast Star. I don't think it's entirely absent in Beast Star. I think they do a very good job of it. Yeah, it's yeah. never it's more subtle. Yeah, yeah. However, at the same time, I I will be honest. I was definitely getting from Air vibes with the story. Just is this kind of like doing kind of the same thing they did with From Air, like more more the. Uh, discrimination against this other, this other race just because they don't fully understand them. There's definitely more of a sense of segregation as, yeah. a, as, a, um, as a theme of the show. It's a segregation is a very prominent theme. And it's interesting. I, I think it's got a very interesting main character as well. Oh, right? oh main character's great. Like, um, it, it is. Uh, one, one of the things I find interesting though is the art style. It's, all, it's a lot of um, very bright primary colours a lot of the time. Yeah. That's what, it's a lot, it's very, but you're, lots of blues yeah. and pinks and reds. Whereas well, compared to the more human cities, a lot of darker colours. Yeah, they're, they're more like your greys and your, uh, 
and your dark blues and that means and, and, and that's where studio again so studio trigger yeah. production. I don't think it's been a single year we've done this where we haven't had a studio trigger <laughs> production at some way nominated. Yeah. Wait, did Studio Trigger have one that came out last year? No, actually, you know, last year was the exception. We didn't have Studio Trigger nomination mm -hmm. then, then because uh, and we probably won this year because Cyberpunk anime had been there working on. None of us give a oh, shit about yeah. and none of us give a shit about Cyberpunk anymore. And they're also doing um, GG film, right? They're doing they're doing the they're doing yeah they're doing um, they're doing Sorry, yeah. if I remember though, I remember hearing like it's gonna be sort of. It's not going to be coloured. It's not going to be like straight from the man from the pages of a manga, that's and uh, that's apparently going to be like a four, just a four episode uh, anime. If, if it's four episodes, they're going to have to have each episode be like two hours because you can't fit Uzumaki in. What, what At the same episode? time, though, Uzumaki is only like three volumes. Yeah, but even then, I've mean, yeah, read yeah. that. I've read that, and I've, I've look at the number of pages. You can't adapt that into a two yeah. uh, into two hours. Bearing in mind, um, Burn the Witch came out. Uh, yeah, but that's um, but yeah, but that with Burn the Witch, that's um, that's meant to be a preemptive to more stuff as opposed to that's it. Oh, right, right, it's yeah. meant to be like all the stuff came out of Witch Academia before they went full. Time. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's what I've heard. I'm not fully sure about it. But well, um, we, well, we, we know what Burn the Witch is connected to at least. Yeah, yeah. No, that's I mean, I think um, which do you think? How do you think this stacks up with the trigger productions at the minute? DNA, it's I think it's kind of up there, but it's yeah, not. No, I say so. I I think it's better than Killer Kills. Well, I'm not necessarily in that one. I really like Kill a Kill. I think Kill a Kill's a proper good one. Yeah. My old, got my all time favorite OP. Yeah. Um, with the second one. I, I came out, I, I need to, I need to do that. But um, uh, I feel like, what I think is a great studio trigger, someone's working on the pipes out there. <laughs> Jesus? <laughs> God, are you throwing rocks at the window again? Yes. Do, do Stop you? throwing shade on Japan's sinks. Yep, the this is what you get for mentioning King's Game, you fuck! We got one in! Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the art style of the DNA is definitely like stand out. You yeah. know, the yeah, it's the standout thing about the show, yeah. yes. Um, which you, I, I, here's the thing the villain's not great, to be honest. Yeah. It's yeah. kind of stereotypical. I mean, I mean, again, it's one of the other things that really gave me vibes, the same vibes with, uh, with Promet. Even more so because of. They had the same twist. I think yeah. pretty much, like, turns out, oh, this thing that you thought was one thing was actually the other thing. I don't know why we're darting around. We already said at the beginning there's going to be spoilers. So, yeah, yeah basically, it's, um, I, I do like the fact that we got her best friend coming back. Yeah. Yeah. The, um, uh, that, that was, I, so I thought, okay, if, where are they going to go with this character? Because we know she's coming, because she's in the OP. Oh. <laughs> oh. Continuing on. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Don't worry, Calvin, I feel your pain. Sounds like Calvin Francis coming as well. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, well, that wasn't in the OP. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, wrong anime. Oh, God's sake. But, I, I mean, it's got that... Re Dude, uh, we always think that there's one of the three things that's going to show up in every single anime. Mm -hmm. Beach house, beach, bathhouse, baseball. Yeah. And in DNA, we got the baseball, baseball. episodes, yeah. and it was really good. It was, yeah. it's hilarious. It yeah, good job, the, the baseball team is so funny! I know, uh, 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 you start so sorry for them. Yeah. yeah. His, uh, it's like if you go with a villain, you just go, his name's Sylvester! It's, you, you have to be a villain for that. A, a weird trend of trigger out there, I'm just noticing actually, is, is the kind of berserk mode. I know it was in, um, I know it was in Evangelion, like, yeah. you know, long ago, but like in Kill a Kill, there's a berserk scene. Uh, there's a berserk scene in DNA. Um, there's a berserk scene in Killer uh, in um, Dying the Franks. Franks. There's a couple yeah, of there. So so is there one in Gurren again? Gurren again talks about Trigger. Is it going back to them when I'm talking about Country? Yeah. They're basically Studio Trigger before they became Studio Trigger. Yeah, yeah. So you yeah. might as well count it amongst yeah. the list. Um, yeah, the, the animation Studio is probably known as Gainax. <laughs> yeah, no, they are a shadow of their form and so on. Yeah. Well, I don't know. They're, they're still Gainax, but they are so. Uh, they're they're, just, still they're yeah. so shit now. It's basically yeah, like, the whole core team left to be triggered. Oh, wow. It's basically like how, um, in video game terms, rare isn't rare anymore. Mm -hmm. Then they're basically all of them that were rare and oh, all that bad. Working on yeah. 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 Oh, oh boy! In that case, we after that, at that point we got we got a uh, girl like that nuts and bolts. Oh god! <laughs> yeah, he's called Tolkien the Franks. <laughs> <laughs> nice dick. You like that show? <laughs> I like that show. 
Shiro Ogami. Um, I mean, he was uh, the, a pretty decent character. Yeah, yeah, especially his backstory. But um, he was kind of predictable, the big twist of, oh, yeah. he t the guy who looks like the, the, the legendary creature turns out to be the, the legendary, legendary creature. creature. Yeah. <laughs> what, who would have thought? I love that to very say when it comes to, like, yeah, just follow the same things as from uh, with Verti, you know, the whole discrimination of this particular kind of people. It does definitely dive much deeper yeah. into yeah. it than for me. Yeah, but that's what you get from having a, a TV series where you're allowed like six to eight hours yeah. opposed to a movie you're allowed Yeah, and that's why, as I said, I think Formas should have been a series rather than just a movie. Yeah. I, 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 would, I, would, I thought you would disagree with that one, Reese. So I think you well, thought it was pretty well paced. It was well paced, but they could have explored a lot more in terms of backstory. Yeah, no, I agree on that one. So, I mean, have you been in the series? No, I think no. Promare's story is done. So, sorry, no, but yeah, no. Uh, no, I, I, no, I, I think, think so. I, think I don't think they will. I won't be against BNA, it. BNA, I think, is done. I think they can conclude it. Trigger likes to conclude yeah, the show. I don't think, it? yeah, Trigger aren't really the kind to do second seasons. No. They are releasing a manga, though, and I'll be interested by Darling in the Franks. There are slight changes from manga to anime. Mm -hmm. So, um, I'll, I'll keep an eye on that one. Um, what's up next? Uh, oh, Elliot's first wild card, Afri Ranma. Woo! So, and this, uh, don't take this wrong way, Elliot, this really surprised me it got nominated for uh, Anime of the Year at the Crunchyroll Awards, and only Anime of the Year at the Crunchyroll Awards. Yeah, I, I'm surprised by that. I'm surprised by that as well. When I saw it, I was thinking, yes, more people get, more people appreciate it. And they're just like, why is it not for best character? Wait, why is it not for best soundtrack? It didn't get fucking character design. No, I think it can design. <laughs> Again, I'm disappointed as well. Hell, I, th I think that Appalachia should have been at least up for best male. You can make an argument for that, but um, okay, Elliot, why was this such a I need to nominate this? Ah, uh, it was just, it was so good. It was one of the main ones that really stood out for me. The uh, I love the characters, I love the uh, the animation, the uh, and the character design, uh, the and just overall the co the overall concept, just a massive uh, race to massive race to New York to New York and. I'm, You're gonna love JoJo Parsons. Yeah, I know. Sorry, 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 sorry. Um, I, I don't know. It's just a really great thing. I just think it's great. Mm. Oh, sorry, the I'm JoJo sorry. is definitely an influence on the show. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like you look at you look at it and you just go, yeah, this is someone who's really an Iraqi stand that but, came up with yeah, this. Yeah, they're all stand users trying to hide in plain sight. That's how obvious. It's obvious. like you know the person who read this said, I wonder if I could do this but without the stands. <laughs> also, like I'll be honest, I don't know about you, but the twist. Kind of got me. I had feelings about what it would, about what the twist would be, where the good guys turn up to be like the really big bads. Mm -hmm. I don't know about you, but personally, I, I didn't fully see that coming. I had suspicions, but it was not like all painfully obvious. Yeah, it's a bit like me with the Persona Five plot twist, which I won't yeah. give away. But I, because I kind of was thinking, no. Although Persona Five's case was, it's a bit obvious, but it's, yeah, I'll take it. But yeah, at first I was thinking it's him, then then I was thinking, no, maybe. Maybe it's not, maybe it's not him, then all of a sudden, I caught it the first time! I'm still right! <laughs> what about you, Reese? Did you like Afro Ramba? I thought it was good, but I thought towards the end the pain was quite bad, because they sort of forgot about the race. Yeah, it's not... Like, like, more it's like, you've made anime wacky races, and... You, you forget about the races. And then you forget about the race at the end. At the same yeah. time, at the, at the same time, I feel like where it went, in despite of not showing the race, I still think it, should, it did go in a good direction. I, I kind of like the character, I like, um... I remember when Hatato showed up, I was going, oh god, please don't be good, it's just bad, please, <laughs> it's, a, 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 it's um, an anime version of a Native American character, please don't yeah. be terribly offensive. It wasn't. It wasn't, thank no. fuck. But um, it was one of those where I was going, okay, please let this be racially sensitive. <laughs> um, yeah, and not to mention the funny bit where you got, where you got a chick monk. Pretending there was Hatato, and then he just kept in Kegel and then he Hatato. Just Hatato, yep, yeah, not you, the other, the other Hatato. Um, so, what? Uh, I. I. Upper is a pretty cool character, all things considered. I mean, he, he's got a unique design, to say the least. Yeah, yeah he's a just, just, yeah. uh, just as a, like a group character. Yeah. I think I figured out what his stand would be called Life is a Highway. Hmm. Yeah, look, and um, honestly, I. I believe, I'll be honest, one of my myths is. I feel like if he was up for protagonist of the year, I feel like I would have voted for him because he has some like really, really, really good moments. Like you can tell, like he, there's someone who's just like seems cold, cold and doesn't care, but he generally does re really care. Like the moment where, ah, oh, what's his name, the samurai guy? Oh, hang on, I'm busy. Stop. Sorry, yeah. Uh, it, 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 yeah, but like when he, he ends up. Being shot and Apple like, yeah. I, mean, I was hit so hard. Yeah, 
so odd by that. Ishti, yeah. I, 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 I was kind of half confident that they would have actually killed him off. Mm. Yeah, I was, I, was, I was half confident, but I was sort of thinking, please don't, please don't, please don't. Yeah, no, I didn't want him to. I think it, but it, it would have been a stronger message if they did. Mm. I kind of like the fact they actually acknowledge it with America by having the bathhouse thing be they don't realise you're not supposed to go into a bathhouse naked in America. <laughs> in America. That was one of the funnier moments for me. No, that really was. Uh, yeah, but what's your bother? Uh, criticism saying that a parish is a discount sanctuary. Second. Uh, I, think that's, so. I think that's well um, underselling that character. I, I yeah. don't get that criticism entirely. Mm -hmm. Senku and Afre are very different characters. Yeah, both yeah. very, very, very different. I think they're just drawing the comparison between, wow, it's a wild haired, crazy character designed um, protagonist who's also a scientist. And, and that's where the. E except one's not a scientist, he's a mechanic, he was just obsessed with. And, and, and that's where the comparisons end, their personality yeah. merges. What, I, one of my favorite characters was Jin, was um, Jin Jilan, the, uh, the mechanic. Um, I thought she was quite an interesting character. She was a really, she was a really enjoyable character. Uh, yeah. I, it, it, it does, I, I kind of like the fact she was given a quite prominent position in the show. Again, I'm with Reese. I wish that Reese had taken more emphasis on it yeah. rather than it be kind of a bit of an afterthought by the end. Yeah. I, I think I think they, they didn't pull punches with a lot of the like really out there stuff that they want to blend onto the characters and evidence of that. But like I don't think they can do quite as much like crazy stuff as say something like Lucky Races or you know or like JoJo's because it doesn't have you know because it's limited by the technology of the time and things like that. But it, it's still it, like the characters and and the yeah. vehicles. But, but, cool but as I said, but as I said, when it did drop the race. when it did sort of um, kind of drop the race part way through, I did still really yeah, enjoy yeah. where where I did still really enjoy how. How it all went down. By God, they had one of the best villains of the year, in my opinion. Yeah. Ooh, that's Ooh. a bold. That's a bold statement. Yeah, I'm, I'm dead serious. I really enjoyed the villain. I thought he was a legitimate threat. Okay, okay. well, look, I'm going. I'm going to have a counteract to that one in a bit. But um, uh, I mean, like, to each other. As I say, I feel like I'm the only person here who absolutely adored the show. I didn't adore it, but I liked it. I liked yeah, it a lot. I, I liked it. Yeah, I know we all liked it, but I really loved it. But I will say, I think that's the thing we can say about all these shows. We liked all. Yeah. yeah. But I don't think there's one where we all went. Oh, how did this get nominated? Yeah. Um, uh, okay, so let's move on to um, uh, the Love Is War. She can't do the fucking so. she can't do the song again. Uh, it's so it's daddy, 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 doo, ha, ha, she she need need and, and also, first of all, I gotta say, worst anime of the year. No chica dance. Zero out of ten. Yeah, they yeah. really missed the trick there. They're it really was our best of spring though. When we, yeah, I would. Genuinely, I was going for it, but I thought it won't win because the others will want something else. And then we were all in agreement yeah, with Kanye. Like, what? You thought I would want something else? I love Kanye Summer! Dude, I was thinking you'd go Fruit Basket. No, I, 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 d d if you're having me pick it for best sequel over Fruit Basket Season 2, you know you've done something right. Yeah. yeah cause I, I'm very unmoved on that show. Because by God, it was so good. Like, I don't know, I was thinking, I don't know how you did it, but you overtook the first season. Yeah. But especially the whole arc of Ishigami. Ah, oh, Ishigami's arc, yes. Yeah. Episode 11 alone is amazing. Yeah. Which was, that's the Ishigami that's episode. episode. Uh, like, uh, episode 11, uh, like, that was the one thing that they moved, but instead of this just being a comedy skit show, which there was comedy skits again, they were all, and they were even funnier than last season. Yeah. They did a lot more character moments this time around. They actually had actual arcs, which meant, when you have more character, you get you can be funnier because you now know these characters. So yeah. it's a bit like, well, I think the later seasons of The Fresh Prince mm. are funnier than the early seasons because we have these developed characters, which means these moments are now funnier and now we know more about them. Yeah, yeah I, I suppose the, yeah. The, the first one was the introduction because you kind of give them the surface level. This is the premise, these are the characters, these are the situations. Even, 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 before, even before, 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 the characters were still very well well portrayed. They were still very likeable. Like the last episode where they tried to get Kaguya, some, Kaguya to see the fireworks. Yeah. I thought that was really good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think um, one, of my favorite thing, one of my favorite things about this episode, is, uh, this season was, um, they actually gave a reason why Shigone is so insistent that Kaguya confesses to him first. Mm -hmm. yeah. Which is that... that um, the idea that she's not quite the social standing to be seen as his level, so if she does, then he is, then they are as equals. Yeah. yeah. Which I, I like that. I like that premise. Like, they didn't need that, but they put it in anyway. Yeah. Um, and it works quite well. Um, how do you guys feel about the new characters, particularly um, the uh, the Nico and Yeah. I, I thought they were really. I thought they were really enjoyable. Just all the uh, all the 
all the, all the moments when they thought there was like some sexual things going on, yeah. when there was just complete misunderstanding. She was like, I, it's yeah, too, I just, like, even though it was, even though it happened like a few times, every time I laughed my ass off. Because yeah. he knew it was coming. I think they're going to come up here at the vlog moment. Yeah. yeah. I think Eno serves quite a purpose because she's now the, um, she's the straight woman to yeah. the rest of them being the funny ones. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh yeah, because there wasn't a hearing like the, the Final Lampus series where it's a, yeah, uh, Kagu and uh, Watson came on the sofa, calling it. She goes, "Nothing has changed." <laughs> <laughs> my favorite. I think uh, one of my favorite episodes from this was the board game. Mm. Uh, yeah. That was that funny as hell. Yeah. Oh my god! Yeah. I, 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 I am surprised. I'm not surprised. The image of Kaguya and Chika in wedding dresses didn't blew up the internet afterwards. <laughs> yeah. It was like I'm gonna watch the episode and I've seen this image. Yeah. Uh, how do you? Oh, also, we have cross mention. Uh, it's my surprise, uh, cameo by Dio's voice actor. Oh yes, Dio's oh, voice actor. Yes. 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 Uh, Shiri goes, father. Yeah. He's, in he's in two shows of the villains yeah. that, as the villain this season. Two yeah. separate shows. I need to say, I'm very happy that Kage yeah, that um, because I adored Kage Summer last year. I'm so happy you guys are with me now and saying, yeah, this is fucking brilliant. Uh, it's, um, I genuinely think, um, I was more appreciative of by the end of the year last year. This year it was more, okay, this is now so good it can't be ignored. Yeah. Yeah. Um, incidentally, confirmation of a third season means we're going to see more of this. Mm. Don't know when, but I reckon 2022 20, maybe. Oh god. Right. Uh, uh, is there is there any negatives we can think of with Kaguya Star Season Two? The focus was shifted from Aoi to Kaguya. I know she's in the title, but it, it, I think it, it didn't give as much screen time to Kaguya. He's still got a lot, but like in terms of the kind of flashing his eyes. I do like the fact we introduced his sister though, who's yeah, yeah. she was yeah. great. Yeah. I, I, I know, it was a bit we weird, some of the interactions between her and Kaguya. Yeah. I was like, um, Kaguya, you know, she's not her brother, right? <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I know they kind of look alike, but uh, we'll leave, but for, for legal reasons, we'll leave that there. <laughs> um, the, uh, I, I can't think of any of them. I, I do, I do, also, another funny gag I really liked, um, the whole thing where he's so into the stargazing hobby he hasn't realised he's been that he's been in that close contact with her. Yeah. <laughs> there's, there's so many great moments this season. I feel like there's a lot more mm, outstanding moments in season two compared to season one. I, I don't yeah. know what you're yeah. is what are your what, uh, is there anything else you can think of to say on Kaguya? Well I really I really love the debate scene. Oh the debate scene, yes, yeah, and yeah. he kind of throws her a bone to say yeah. I'm not gonna win this by um, yeah, he wants to win it fairly, not by uh, by uh, someone tripping up, because yeah. he knows that she's a worthy opponent. Yeah, it, it's a lot of great moments like that. So um, we move on to Ren's wild card, Great Pretender. This was a this is another nominee from uh, for the uh, Crunchyroll Awards. Mm. Um, so I think that was, that was no, it was wasn't the second half. Of the not that long though. It was. Yeah, it, it was very next season. Out, yeah, it, it was. It, they were only in for it. was only like, in jail for like a couple of weeks. Oh, so you so, so you said that was having. Yeah, no, no, they they they, 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 they they did a smarter job this time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Also, because the show was entirely done. Mm. I remember when we said about Art Stars. I realised, shit, no, great, great pretenders in here, and that's yeah. a great pretender is as an amazing art style. Right. What what they they changed the what, what they, and the colour scheme depending on the location. So. Hollywood's different to Dubai and it's different to um, England, which is then also different to when we finally get an arc in Japan. Yeah. Which is, I feel kind of weird that only one of the arcs takes place in Japan. Mm -hmm. Very much, yeah. Um, what, did you, what, did, what are your thoughts on um, Great Pretender as a whole? Because we haven't talked much about it. I really enjoyed it. Are we going to do both seasons here or just season one? Both, 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 both of them, seasons. because it was, a, it was more one season split in two parts. Yeah, yeah I really enjoyed it. I thought the twist in season two. All kinds of tracks from it. Yeah. Yeah. The, so at the end, when you're talking about Japan. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of a weird, one, weird one. Yeah. And it was kind of like, okay, how, how the hell did they all come out? Yeah. 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 What, are you, what are your thoughts on it? Because you were watching it very first time, very recently in the build-up for this one. Uh, I thought it was pretty. I thought it was pretty decent. I thought it was. I thought I generally really, really enjoyed it. it. Has some really, really fun characters. It's got a really vibrant yeah. cast as well. Can I just say quickly, one of the funniest moments was in like I believe the last episode where they were showing the plans and when. Thing ridiculous back, everyone was poking their heads out except for Abby, who just had a finger around yeah, like yeah. that. <laughs> it, it feels like one of those kind of um, a, a, a critique of it, I think, might be the, the one upmanship is kind of like, um, kind of uh, as you say, detracts a little bit. Because, like, how, how the fuck could they have done that? How could they yeah. have done it? Yeah. I but, but overall, like, that's probably.
point to show. And it's meant to be, it's meant to be I mean, stupid workmanship. Well, it? With us going to nationalism, um, I think my favourite... <laughs> what? Yeah, I'm interested in the sentence. I, well, I, well, think, well, yeah. um, I think uh, my favourite arc was... Um, that, that was a wrong wording there. Yeah. I was about to say, without going into too much about patriotism, I got it the wrong way round. Okay. Um, uh, I think my favourite arc was the one set in England. Yeah, that was a really good one. I think they did a good job bringing up Cynthia's backstory. Yeah. yeah. And, Seriously, uh, after that backstory, I think Cynthia became my favourite character of the show. Yeah, yeah it's a, amazing how well they did this, because they got a very, they did again a very good job being, being very respectful and doing a racially diverse cast. They, mm -hmm. they got, the fact they got a multilingual cast is amazing. Yeah, yeah. Like, um, I think that's one of the, that's definitely one of the first shows to do it as well, because we were watching the dub, and you were like, hang on, wait, there's a subtitle from the thing from the Japanese, what's happening here? But they're still on the dub because they immediately switched to, uh, to English in the first episode. Yeah, because, and again, it's the... Yeah, the, I, I do kind of love how, at that bit, it just went, ooh, that's switched to English. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, don't, I don't think another show has really done that. I, I think it's a, I think it's good. I would say at the moment it's done better than Vincent's like where everyone's speaking Japanese and it's just like, wait, he's speaking not. We yeah. don't understand. <laughs> yeah, exactly. What's he say? I think he's Sweden. Yeah. Just, it's like it is a bit more and like, even the English and the old yeah. English and the old and the old uh, Scandinavians speaking their own languages and not being like speaking Japanese and not being able to understand each other. I find it weird that um if, if they ever did a dub of Vincent Saga, which hasn't happened yet. Uh, if they would actually dub in some like um, Swedish or well, actually no, they wouldn't be Swedish because um, uh, Askeladd uh, Askeladd uh, was Norwegian, right? No, 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 Askeladd was Welsh, but they're, they're from Iceland. No, so, no, no, no Askeladd was more from Norway. Yeah, I know, but uh, yeah, foreign, yeah, foreigns yeah, from yeah, yeah. for, for, uh, for, 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 for from um, Iceland. Yeah, yeah. Um, we're going well off topic here. Uh, but, but, uh, I liked um, they did a very good job with having this diverse cast. You've got I, I did. I think it was a bit weird going, uh, the Dubai one, I was going, oh god. Yeah. It's like, okay, um, old school old school guy from the UAE is very sexist. Why to go down this route, guys? Mm -hmm. Mind you, this is probably, act it's a bit, I, I know this is kind of accurate, but do we have to bring it up? Yeah. Um, and then you, but again, I think, I think one of my favourite characters in it was Abby, though. Yeah. She was great. Oh yeah, her backstory was great. She was really great, yeah. yeah. I really, yeah, flushed out. I just kind of surprised more of these characters were like at least the male. I don't think really think they had the males were the best male of the year. Uh, I think it was French or something. Lawrence. Yeah. Lawrence. Yeah, I think yeah. Lawrence should have been. Lawrence, Lawrence is gr uh, great. I, I don't. I'm not with Reed on this one. I didn't like the final plot twist in the post credits. Yeah. yeah. Like seriously, that kind of made the whole thing. Yeah. Uh, that weakened it for me. Yeah. yeah. I think. I think. Um, I don't. I didn't like Adam by the end of it. And, and, and uh, I Adam Moore. Like, that's it. Yeah, I also find it weird that all three of the villains from the first arc are working together with them. Yeah, yeah. I feel like I feel like they got together through that com through that common camaraderie. Like, oh, you got scared by those guys, so did I. Hey, everything's forgiven. Yeah. I wonder if they just gone, or they just gone so absolutely robbed of millions of bucks. Just yeah. oh, you scamp. Yeah. <laughs> You cut me. <laughs> okay, uh, we're running low on time, so we're gonna have to move straight on. Is there any in, before we do that though? Um, any negative other negative things you could say about Great Pretender? No, no, no. No, it's actually very well put together. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. Okay, so Re Zero season two part one. Yeah. Oh my god. Best of summer for us. Yep. Yeah. Never trust a rabbit. Never trust a rabbit again. <laughs> Run away! Run away! Knock it out. I do not know how they would continue from the first season. Okay, for a bit of context, everyone, uh, this is the first year I actually saw Re Zero in general. Oh, so yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. Like in some, like in some, I bin, I binged the entire first season in one sitting. And after watching, I was just thinking, how are they going to top this? Somehow they did it. It was, by God, it was great. I must be honest. I watched, I, in preparation for this, I watched the director's cut version as well, and that concluded a post credit scene, oh, which was the first scene for the season. Two, as it turned out. Oh, just Ren. Who, who is Ren? Yeah. Who's Ren? And I hated it initially. Really? I really hated that twist because it was like, you dicks, you robbed Subaru of his one victory. That was the one thing he had. And then they went on further, and I was like, okay, they made this work. Yeah. Yeah. See, I, I don't think that was that was such a bad ending. Uh, I mean, I, I get what you mean about taking some pictures. I, I mean, I guess I guess it was still building up to the second season. Yeah. The thing is, it's just it took a long time for the second season to come about. Yeah. He's, he's also the character that constantly loses. That's that's his plight in this world is that he he can't do anything 
Well, he does get some bit. He does get yeah, some victory. Yeah, yeah, but like, I, I think kind of you know to and get you know, home that he's just in this horrible situation constantly. I like the fact though this season they put a bit more emphasis on Amelia. I feel like yeah. she yeah. got. I feel like she's one of the characters by a fandom who have been yes. so unfairly maligned. Can I just yeah. say, good God, that God likes to shit on Amelia. Just oh, what's that? You survived. Here's another thing to kill you. Yeah. Yeah. I, one of the things I think is um, great that I think the best episode though was Subaru going back. To um, see his parents again yeah. briefly. Oh, yeah, that God. was crazy. That was, that was yeah, so like, that, like that's something I want more in Isekai. Like the connection with the real world, and like, cause Subaru, you, you could tell he was generally upset that wasn't at least able to say goodbye. Yeah. And like, yeah, he, he got that chance now. Oh, so, but the thing everyone talks about, and I don't quite understand this as much, but I kind of get it at the same time. Mm. Echidna was everyone was everyone was talking yeah. about. Can someone explain to me why she's? Treat as this great villain because I kind of feel like she's not even that much of a villain. She's more just kind of a. I don't see. I never saw her as a villain. She's kind of just kind of. Um, she's not only the best antagonist, but I kind of felt like she's not really antagonist. She's not yeah. actively trying to stop Subaru. Mm. She's just kind of. I would uh, kind of well. Let's see. Uh, let's throw a bit of chaos into this and see if we can have a bit of fun with it. Yeah. I do. I, although that scene with. Her and him break when he breaks down and can actually say, "I get to." Yeah, I, I to that bit really got me actually. That's one of the things they also really explored this season: the effects of Subaru dying over and over again. They explored it a lot in the first. They explored it a bit in the first season, but not to the level. Not to the level they have on this one. We actually got to see what the world looked like when Subaru died. Yeah, it's, yeah. All, it's also sort of like it's not the world just setting; it's just him going into a different timeline, yeah, but yeah. that one continuing. Well, Reese, for you and me, it was we were waiting. From 2016 to see this, yeah. was it worth the wait? Oh, definitely. Do I feel, do you think this outdoes the first season though? At this point, I mean, we haven't fully seen. Just based on part. the first part, I will, I'll, I'll say no. Yeah, I'm with you on that one. I I feel like the I really wish they concluded an arc. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I wanted. I wanted them to conclude an arc mm. this season. I feel like they, if they'd done this song splitting them up in the cores um, in the first. Season, it would have been fine because you would have ended with the end of the mansion yes. arc, yeah. and it would I would have done well, and then you would have gone into the arc with the white whale and getting back to the you mansion. Know, uh, do you think they would? Uh, they will finish it before the, they start before the seasons before the seasons over, because um, just be uh, just because they pretty much confirmed super pretty much confirmed that yeah I'm gonna do it in this timeline in one Well, he has to do it in this timeline yeah. in a sense. I unless he's given an extra, unless he's gonna give an extra unless he give him an extra checkpoint, he kind of. But uh, they're kind of in trouble. I mean, um, I feel like they will conclude it this time. I feel yeah. like just stretched out for another season would be weird. Yeah, I yeah. yeah. No, I mean more like before the last episode, like part way through this uh, second part. I feel like, like we're gonna do that. I don't. Know, I don't know how season two is gonna end, but put it this way, I am. I, I, do you know when I saw a review for ReZero, and you guys are really gonna disagree with this one. Mm. Saw a review for it, and I mentioned this to Ren before we started, which is someone said for all the talk of it being a deconstruction of Isekai. It's still a male power fantasy. It's not! No, it's, not, it's, not. it's a little opposite of male power The male fantasy. character is the weakest one! Yeah. yeah what, gets power, it, what gets him? What gets him out of it? Like, he's again, again, like again, if you want a fucking male power fantasy in Isekai, fucking redo of a healer. Or if you always got lost of one. Yeah. Or, well, so, like, yeah, exactly. or if you want it even worse, in another world with no smartphone. Oh, oh God. God. Jeez. Yeah. Why does everyone talk about that being one of the worst things ever? Mm -hmm. I don't know, I don't know. If I, had to, if I had to question, why when it came out did people love Wiseman's grandchild? I don't know. It either. was awful! Legitimately, it was one of the worst he's kind of ever seen. We're gonna get a so. Do you know one of the few times we've had angry comments on our videos has been when we pissed off people, Wiseman's grandchild fans? Oh, so, you, oh you, already, you already know what I did. I, I, spent, I put on like a five post Twitter rant about the show when I watched it. But that's just mad because I've only just learned how to read. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> No, it's, it's him. I've got to worry about for the dip for the on the nose jokes. Have I got to worry again? Yes, <laughs> of course. Now I've got you, and you basically a good show. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, yeah, so. it, it reminds me of that meme from King of the Hill where they're holding a sign up to the class. Oh yeah, and, and, the, and the father says, "But well, they'd be very disappointed if they could read." <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's literally that. Yeah, like seriously, just because it's like so not online doesn't mean it's good. Go shut up and watch Reincarnated as a slime. Second season's out. Fucking brilliant. Yeah, I'm not enjoying that. But, but um, is, there, is there any negative? I don't know if there's any negative to ReZero's 
top one. Uh, I think I did a bit of rock one. Yeah, that's yeah, 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 yeah. I think it was quite a bold choice to take Rob Lucci from One Piece as the villain. Yeah, so. Rob. <laughs> it was also just like, okay, is no one else knows this is basically Lucci from One Piece? <laughs> Uh, I saw this guy see him one piece, it's fine. Oh, sorry, the giant leopard guy. Uh, oh, there's, a yeah. giant leopard, there's a giant leopard guy in one piece. Yeah. Yeah. I've, um, I'll be honest, I've just read the, ma- I'm reading the manga, I don't think I'm a fan of that bit. Yeah, I've just gotten past the, the compo- got past the Crocodile War. Oh yeah, it took you a while for something. Well, well, you're, you're only, uh, no, because it's Cloud Beer next, isn't it? After Crocodiles. Oh yeah, you've got a really good argument. Yeah, can I just say, how good was a crocodile lot? I'm so glad you are so glad you are so glad you are so glad you are I want to read more of it. I fucking oh, love one piece. Yes, do it. I'm We're looking. getting off topic next one. Recently chapter 1000 as well, actually. Yeah. So, yeah. Tony Coward. Tony yes, Coward, right? <laughs> yes. I'm We're doing Tony Coward, which was my wild card. The story of the ultimate sin. Pretty much. I don't care, I love these two. They are... They are absolutely adorable. I like the fact that this is one of the romance anime that cut through so much of the bullshit. Yeah. It, uh, this is the kind of show I've wanted for ages. Just, okay, we're just going to see their daily lives. Yeah. But there is going to be this background of this. Like, if, if this goes into tragedy, which I'm fairly it convinced. Probably will. I'm fairly convinced it's going to. Yeah. There's more stakes to it because we've seen what could be. If it had been them just pining for each other for like out. Hours and hours and hours. Yeah. It would. It would. That thing would not have hit. That thing won't hit when everything goes. I mean. Well, well, the problem is it did hit. It was drunk. Why right started? Hey, nice one. <laughs> not yeah. today, Chunkin. <laughs> no, I, I've done several. I was actually. I'm doing a playthrough of Persona Five at the minute, and uh, there's a, that bit where the principal gets run over, and I literally went, Chunkin. <laughs> <laughs> No, I get it. I hope he's not in an East Kai world. God! <laughs> I don't know, he'll probably be, be reincarnated as a goblin. Yeah, so now we have another one with a monster this season. That would be a really funny um, East Kai. Actually, is a truck who just fucking East Kai. Actually, how funny. Actually, how truck funny, driver. Actually, yeah. how funny is that? We have two East Kai's to come out, come out this season that are both are based around the character being reincarnated as a monster. It's like Caesar Slime Man and the Spider, so what? Oh, yeah, I, I, I thought you were going to say about the reincarnation, the jobless reincarnation, but I thought, like, okay, he's a bit, he's a bit of a bad person, but he's not a monster. No, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. No, yeah, yeah but don't worry. Don't, don't worry, we'll, we'll all understand that one when we get to episode two of that show. Yeah. The jobless one. The jobless Yeah, yeah. yeah. But anyway, um, it is a bit interesting of where. I think they did a good job having this air of mystery with Tsukasa yeah. in this one. Like, Tsukasa. Is, like, you're never going to forget the main character's name as well, Nasa yeah. Yuzaki. How are you ever going to forget that one? Um, but I think they gave a good air of mystery around her, and I think you need a bit of that for this one. I think they should have yeah. just come out and said what she is. I don't know what she is at this point, because um, I haven't read that far in the manga. I, see, I, I think initially I thought it was, okay, well, this is a stupid premise. He somehow survives getting hit by a truck and is, like, inexorably drawn towards this woman. But then, like, over the course of it, you, you see that, you see the evolution. Of, of their relationship, it actually turns it, it's really lovely to watch. I you mean, do get why these two are desperately in love yeah, with each other, but it's not contrived. It doesn't feel. Yeah, like even if it does, stuff. even if it does come out of nowhere at first, you just think, okay, yeah, these two are adorable. Yeah. No, I, I kind of, I kind of get the sense of she. I, I do like the fact that one of the things that he really likes about her is the fact she doesn't laugh at his name. Yeah. And that, and that's something he's been waiting for his entire fucking life. <laughs> <laughs> People laugh at my name. Well, that's why you shortened it all the time. No, I, I, my parents, I, my parents just called me Dan, but like having having whip at the end just rhymes with dick and brick and all sorts. So that was fun. Wow, well, there's up with so all, many avenues. Yeah, seriously, rem dick broccoli is one of the ones that you <laughs> see <laughs> called. I like that one. I'm gonna remember that one. Well, well at least I called Baldwin. Yeah, imagine, really? that, imagine that. Imagine that, Baldwin. Enough water. Um, do you know the thing that I, um, I find it interesting though that um. The, the jokes, I think, really land. Yeah. I think there's a lot of good jokes in this one. They all really kind of land. I, I was very surprised about the scoop by Jim. Yes! yes. yes. Yeah, I, so I, I was so remember when you said, guess what's in episode 15? We just went, pregnancy, divorce? <laughs> no, it's, I was like, oh, they're going to love this. Yeah. They're going to love this. And then he remakes, um, and then he gets into make a bootleg version of the original Street Fighter one with pads. the pressure pads. Yeah, I, I, I was just thinking, this isn't like some fake Street Fighter. This is actually Street Fighter. Yeah, like, do, you, do, you, do you think like they were just playing in? The, do you think like the creators were just playing it in the off time, and the director was just like, "We can use this. Get the capture card." <laughs> how much did they pay Capcom for that? Yeah, must have been a lot. Of um, um, Capcom, how much do we owe you to advertise a game that you're not really doing much with at the minute? Uh, because you're still because of, although we all know. 
Because we're waiting for the sick one. Um, sandwich? No. <laughs> oh, Bill. Uh, oh, we'll take you. Uh, the, 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 I do think, um, though, it, it works quite well. I, do, I, I must be honest, though. I, as a character, I didn't initially quite like, but I didn't like her appearance until later down the line. Yeah. Like, I did like, one of my favorite lines of this is, I know she's my sister, but this is horror movie levels of stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just, uh, just got, she was hilarious when you, like, you really got yeah. to know Incidentally, why did her face when that happened, the, her sister's face when that happened, not be a meme? <laughs> I <laughs> have no was, idea. That was begging to be a meme. Just had that behind Donald Trump or something. Just, mm. <laughs> he said, what? <laughs> the fuck's he on about? Incidentally, um... Uh, first, uh, uh, we didn't mention it, first um, uh, um, a blog of the Biden administration, but yeah, fuck off Trump, you're, go you're gone, uh, now goodbye, fuck off and die. And with him go all of the anime representation we've had in America for the last four oh, years. Yeah. Oh <laughs> god, that's, how can I say now, the weirdest inclusion of him in an anime was in the Death Note one shot. Oh, oh yes. Okay. Yeah, have you not seen the Death, read the Death Note one shot? No. Okay, you had a Death Note that oh, you didn't do that. Wait, no, I think I do remember the, um, yeah, so yeah, he sure. was in. He was in. He nearly got the death blow. Oh, but you know what? Do you know what? They nearly killed him. No. <laughs> I'm not kidding. They sent. They sent you out in a rule saying if you sell the death, if you sell the death no, the person who sells it will die when they receive the money, and the buyer will die when they receive the death note. They nearly uh, killed uh, Donald Trump. One of, one, of the, one of the cameos I will never forget, and Carlton, Carlton will be upset when I bring this up, is in fucking Grimsby Wife at the end. <laughs> <So> <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I can't remember, especially if it was Home Alone 2. Oh, where, where, where he he asked Kevin Kelsey. Oh, yeah. yeah! Oh my god, yeah. Uh, let's move swiftly on. Yeah, yeah. Tony Cow, any negatives you guys can think about? It, um, yeah. it didn't really have a. Tr feel, the ending didn't really feel like a proper edit. It's, it's not as bad as Isaac and where it just feels like it stopped. But it doesn't really feel like proper conclusion to the season. It does, yeah. it does have a sense of we're gonna try and continue this. Yeah, I don't think it needs the conclusion. There's still so much to learn. Like, yeah, like you say, it's likely to turn into a cash well, game. I do hope it does get a second season, but the ending did feel... It didn't really feel like... It just didn't feel like a proper ending. It just kind of felt like the end to another storyline well, or something. Well, I will say one of the things that's outstanding about it is how much of the manga they got in the season. Because if you actually go by... Um, it, it's a very short manga, actually. Because the first volume only contains like two and a half episodes worth of material. Really? Yeah, seriously. In fact, we're not. It's not until like volumes five and six that they're going to get past the first season. So they got a lot of the story in there. So I think we could be waiting quite a while for a second. Incidentally, this is. I like this show so much. This is going to be like Elliot with um, Promise Neverland. I'm not waiting for the second season. I've already pre-ordered all the manga. Oh really? Yeah. I've pre-ordered up to volume six. <laughs> Incidentally, uh, one of the things I know we are kind of yeah, we can expect in the possible season two. NASA's teacher. Yeah. She apparently is going to be a bit. Is a bit. Uh, weirded out by the fact he got married. Huh. Uh, I mean, that was another thing. Lot, I do like the fact that a lot of people sort of question, wait, you got married? Mm. Yeah, like, no one just took, took it easy. Like, for example, his, when his mother had she got married, she was just like, what? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's a sound my mother never made before. That's a, um, I, I, it, Reese, I sense you might have a complaint about this show. Um, I thought the pacing was a quite slow in parts. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I kind of think it needs a bit to slow down a bit every so often. Uh, also, there's no characters I really proper dislike. I don't know if you guys disliked any of them. Not, no, re not, not really. Re not really. I thought she say was going to get on people's nerves, but apparently she people still like her. But there are still some characters that don't really feel like uh, got explored as much as I feel like I would want to. Like the sister, for mm. not not uh, nothing which exists. Not thing which existed, the one who helped at the Bateman house. I feel like oh, I yeah. would like to see her more. I, I, one of the things I find interesting about her is they try to expand the story, then her mum stopped her yeah. by saying, No, 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 we don't have any time for flashbacks. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm yeah. just like, I, I, you just, your lungs are very good, okay? Mine ran off with a younger person. <laughs> but on that note, um, Jujutsu Kaisen. <laughs> oh, oh boy. Best of all. Yeah. How do you feel about, how, uh, how do you feel about Jujutsu Kaisen that we've only seen half of it that, we're, that we can judge it on? We, we, we need some more of Han the character. Uh, which, yes. um, <laughs> I do like the fact, I know we're really... Yeah, I remember we in the manga seeing the panda, I was just thinking, they're gonna get a kick out of this. Mm. Wait, panda, panda, what? Mm. Wait, panda? <laughs> is it, this is, this is a, it's a... Yeah, that's like, that's like jet in this, in this anime. Boom! Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a, that's everyone's reaction to the Tekken series. 
thing back up with the person. Wait, what? Panda? Yeah. Why is there a fighting panda? I was it's a fucking like cuba! <laughs> Incidentally, while we're on the subject of um, uh, th th that one, uh, have you, uh, I like the, the recess where you really said, Surprise, I'm not dead! Yeah, yeah and everyone, uh, I'm, that's literally what I'm up to in the manga, it's just like, you pop out and go, Surprise, I'm not dead! Everyone's reaction is just like, What? <laughs> also, no, I, I, I think the first half has been phenomenal. Yeah. Yeah. Because, uh, they they come up with an interesting premise as well at the beginning, like this idea of, your the, the main character's gonna di is gonna die by the end of this. It's more how he's gonna spend his last bit of his life. Yeah. And turns out, well, he does it what we all do. We'd be ashamed of the protagonist. Yeah. Like seriously, I'm I, as I said before. I've been reading the manga. This has been such a good adaptation. Like, cause there were there were a few bits that they did add it that they did add in. Mm -hmm. Like for example, with the orange hair girls uh, backstory. I don't think we really got. Her backstory that early into the month into the manga, just, but I, I just think what they did add didn't detract at all from it. Go, uh, incidentally, though, uh, I mean, initially, um, Noboru Katsuki, Katsuki was the um, the big standout girl, was the big standout character initially because they didn't say, "Oh, she's brilliant, she's gonna be best girl," and then everyone's attention went to Gojo again. Yeah. Well, go, come on, it's Gojo. Yes. He's essentially he, he's this version. It's, it's, did you see his version of Kakashi? Yeah. Incidentally, I'd say, I'd say he, to me, he feels like a mix of Kakashi and All Might. Yeah. Okay. Would you say that's a decent description of him? Yeah, yeah I'd say that's pretty decent. All Might. He's kind of got the fun loving spirit that All Might has. Oh, so personality wise. Yeah, yeah, I think, yeah, yeah. yeah, and he's also got the, he can bring out the power when he needs to, which is very similar to All Might. Yeah, and he also acts as the mentor to the main character. Yeah, but again, that's also where the Kakashi thing also comes in because yeah. he's kind of a mentor character. Um, yeah, I, I, I have been saying uh, it does might feel like a sort of dark modern day Naruto. But the, the interesting thing is comparisons are more drawn to Bleach yeah. than they have Naruto. Yeah. 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 Demon fighting and, and the um, because the the what, what's it called the fucking oh god why am I blanking on Bleach terms? What's happened to me? The oh, hollows. The, yeah. the hollows eventually turn into kind of like humanoid versions it's between now seven and seven. I had to put I had to put um <laughs> I had to do my Bleach chapter to check when I was writing about it. And he said, you've accidentally given away a plot twist here, <laughs> Calvin, you've got to rewrite this thing. <laughs> Turns out Ichigo does not know how to yet to use bleach on his clothes. <laughs> but it turns out Ichigo is not yet a fan, so <laughs> no. no, this is not, no, this is not about people trying the type of challenge. <laughs> Incidentally, um, this, uh, this is going to be a hell of a segue. Uh, how, do you, how do you guys feel about the villain of this so far? I quite well, yeah, like I'm I'm really, like, I really like the villains. They definitely show like a, a good level of threat. I feel like the tragic story they had at the end of the last season was like, oh my god, yeah. this is this, this kid's not a bad guy. He's just someone who's yeah, and yeah, really up. Yeah, just got the the bad end of the stick. Just good. Yeah. It, I like the fact they they have a shonen villain who is kind of like they're in shonen villains. I don't think you get this often. Shonen manga doesn't do this often enough. But this idea of it's just a good person who's gone down a bad route and had a couple of bad cards drawn for Yeah, him. like, seriously, why was he not up for best, for best villain? Uh, it, it's a sh it's a, I think it's because it's, it's, it's hard to call him a villain. Yeah, that's why. Right, yeah. 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 yeah, but at the, same, yeah, at the same time, it's just sort of a thought that, you know, it'd probably be like, it'd probably be like whatever they were doing in Naruto, like, he's a good person, but then they're just making him friends. But no, he dies at the end of that. Mm. He dies like at the I end. I did of say we were we were we were gonna. It's just gonna be spoilerific. So if you yeah. if you still yeah. if you can yeah like I, like, like it got me when I was reading the manga. When I was watching it, it still got me. I, I think I think it serves to kind of highlight how brutal the villain the main villains are. It's yeah. they, they have no regard for it, and it's meant to it's meant to make the, the viewer you know despise them in that way. Yeah, it's really, it's a really good way of doing it. Not many shows I think have the courage to actually kill off a sympathetic character like that. I think also I have a problem with. I, I think my only. Uh, I think my thing about this show is, for me, everyone's going on. This is the new big shonen. This is the new. I don't feel the same way about this. I felt when people were saying that about My Hero Academia. Yeah. Yeah. I was, okay. Uh, when, when I ended the first season of My Hero Academia, I was kind of like, well, this show has potential. Yeah. I'm not feeling it as much with Jujutsu Kaisen. I feel like it's been overhyped. I, I think it's stupid to say something is the next big thing because shows don't have to be the next big thing. They can just be good self. In fact, yeah, anything that anything that tries to be the next big anything yeah. ultimately fails. It's always something they tend to be their, themselves. Yeah, like, they tend to do well. Yeah, yeah and I think Jujutsu Kaisen definitely does that. Doesn't I don't think it tries to be like a massive shonen 
and manga just tries to be its own thing. I think some people though have hyped it up to be that, yeah. Yeah, which I think is. Uh, would you agree that's a bit of an issue? It's I was. I will. Uh, probably. The, probably a little bit. I haven't heard from the ending about hyped by God had for this show than I did as I did with like My Hero Academia. And but and mind you, this is coming from someone who's. Come a favor on going uh, showing the jump manga is upon Sutherland. How do you well, actually? I won't say on going because it's now finished. Yeah, it's finished. Wow. Well. Yeah. How how do you feel about Keith Preston as a whole? Uh, I I do enjoy it, but there was so much hype going into it. That I kind of distracted from going enjoyment to thinking. Yeah, it's the well, why am I not enjoying this as much as other people? Well, are? you and me weren't really picking it for anime of the season last no. last time. Yeah. We we picked it on point. Yeah. I mean, I whereas you two were kind of the Keith Preston yeah. crowd. The thing is, uh, I didn't really fall into the hype because I was reading the manga like a couple of months. I saw reading the manga a couple of months before, um, but before I even knew it was actually coming an anime, and uh, I and so I kind of knew what I was going into. I knew like, I knew like it's not something to be incredibly overhyped for, but it's still something to be really excited. For. Really good action yeah. scenes, I'd yeah. say as well. I, I think by virtue of the fact that I wasn't on Twitter, is I, I I didn't know about all of the hype, so I enjoyed what was going to happen. I, mean, I, I, I don't even go on Twitter too often. Honestly. I think I think you two went in with the right attitude, and yeah. we kind of, which is annoying because like, well, although yeah, people really enjoy something, you know, you want them to talk but about it. You've got to remember, Ren. Yeah, yeah, yeah you've got to remember, Ren. Well, no matter how much we want it to, art doesn't exist in a vacuum. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. But it, you know, it's the same. It's probably the same people who were like, oh my god, god, god no, fucking why is my grandchild the best thing ever? It's also the TV masses who say sort of online, you know. Faultless. <laughs> uh, but can we, can we Sorry, yeah, let's we'll move, move on, on to uh, Elliot's other wild card, the day I became a god. Yeah. Um, gotta be honest, Elliot, I don't think they nailed the ending of this one. Um, I, just, I just don't enjoy it. I, I didn't enjoy the ending. I just don't like, think it was great. I didn't think it was a pretty good ending. But yeah, I do kind of agree with you. You know, the more I thought about it, like after I picked the wild card, I was constantly thinking, I'm not sure if I picked the right one. Like the more I think about it now, even now, I'm still thinking, I probably should have done something like Yushiko to my stuff as a bit of this. And even then, I still kind of like this show. Yeah, even yeah. though it's still a joke, it's just a real like show. What do you think at least? I think you've um, got the most dissenting opinion of the four of us. Yeah, especially with the ending and what develops, shall we say. Yeah, that, I think there's, 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 there's really reason to the whole point mm. of uh, our online rankings. Oh, really? Yeah. I think, I think retrospectively, I, I wasn't a huge fan of the tonal shift from the comedy to the to the kind of you know the serious. Uh, yeah. yeah, the serious element. But I think thinking back on the ending, that's still like you know there's still a lot of emotion and, and good stuff there that I, I look back I, quite fondly on. Actually, yeah. I, I I I like the fact though um, they had this story. I think they had this. I think they they did a decent job with the fact they didn't just fix the characters. Yeah. They did. There was a process yeah. to it at the end. And the, uh, the one thing I also had to me was the your big shady organization mm. that, one, there's no repercussions for them, they just kind of disappear. Yeah, yeah and, that's something like And that. two, how do they think it's a good PR stunt? We, we, made, the, um, we, made, we made this thing that could, could eliminate deme dementia by, by, screw it, by completely destroying the mind of a 14 year old girl. Yeah. Also, I'm, I'm seriously questioning how um, a few people were able to have such high production values for a home video. Uh, yeah. I, was thinking, I, was, I was thinking that, but at the same time, I was thinking, well, three girls in like yeah, if yeah. three girls <laughs> in, in an abandoned building, an abandoned building, can turn out a, a, a like awesome seven minute anime in like a month. Touche, touche. But also at the same time, though, I, I the, you, by the way, young. I'm sorry, this budget, you're not going to make special effects that look to shame the channel awesome, awesome movies. Yeah. Hey oh. Yeah, but uh, the reason why I dropped a point, I'm not sure if you guys knew, that there was quite a lot of backlash about the main character becoming a, uh, literally a uh, pedophile. I, I, I think that was um, more. No, but well, I, think, I think then it was definitely down the line became more of like a familial love for her. No, that was a romantic love. Okay. Uh, everyone's called out. How old was he? He's like 18, she's 14. Yeah. I, saw, I saw the show, she's like 13. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. yeah. That, that's, that's why people started reviewing Bombardier at the end. I think, it, I, I think um, well, obviously, we, when we picked it, we didn't know that was going to go down. Yeah, we didn't. Um, I, I, As I said, I feel like down the line, if, I, uh, if we had done it later when the show was finished, 
I'm not ashamed of putting it on this list, but I feel like I might have gone for something like, honestly, I feel like I would have gone for my list, I've just been a mess. I think um, it, it's. A I, I thought a lot of people, you know, gave it hate though because people would say, "Oh, well, this is the same anime studio that did fucking Angel Beats and Cloud is not nearly as good." I'm just like, dude, fuck off. Well, it's not the same studio as Cloud. It's the same creators as Cloud. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Then I just. Oh, I then I just think, mate, fuck off. You can't. You can't. It's it's like saying it's like saying. Uh, is it worse than Charlotte though? I don't know. Mm -hmm. I've seen it. I mean, I was the only one who watched Charlotte, wasn't I? Yeah, I, I watched a bit of it. I mean, it's oh, like, it's I mean, it's like, it's, really bad. it's like criticizing uh, Samurai 8 for saying it's not as good as Naruto. Yeah, that is true. But Samurai 8, I still, I still enjoy Samurai 8. Yeah. That, that's a dumb criticism. There's a bit bigger thing to criticize the ever human god about than there yeah. is to criticize that one. So I think this was our bad decision choice this year. Yeah. I just wish we could have all watched Dorothy Don't I? Yeah, we're, 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 we're yeah, that's I'm, all white groups. Yeah, as they said, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, as that's they said true. Okay, yeah, I'm a little ashamed for playing this one on that show. No, 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 like you say, you know, you, you, you didn't know at the time. Yeah. yeah. So it's still one of those. So, no, it's, it's not also, against you, man. I did also, I did also, as I said, I did still, I did still enjoy it. It's just, I do definitely feel like I should have picked something different, that's all. Alright, no worries. What about um, the final one is Reese's Choice, More Ask the Patriots. Oh, that was so good. I mean, I'm looking forward to the second season in April. I am. It's, a, it's just such a joy to see a Shiok home story, but from the uh, perspective of Moriarty. It is a really interesting way of doing it, and thankfully one of the actual good representations of Sherlock in anime, because yeah. there's so many shit ones. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah, and good God, I don't know how, but somehow they made another Sherlock I go gay for outside of Benedict Cumberbatch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's like, how good is the animation on it, though? It is quality. Yeah. It is quality. Yeah. Actually, that's a thought. I don't think Moriarty the Patriot really got any, if meant that meant, meant much, if any, uh, like awards from the Crunchyroll Awards. Yeah. No, it, it was so missing. Yeah. Like it, Moriarty not up for best and for best villain, yeah. not up for best, not up for best male. Hell, not even up for best OP. I think I think it's one thing that a lot of shows like this have a very trouble doing. I mean, all shows like this. Having a good balance between Sherlock and Moriarty. Yeah. I feel like I know both of those characters almost inside and out now. Um, I, I will say the design of Sherlock does feel like they've watched the Benedict Cumberbatch yeah. Yeah, series. Well, I mean, there's a manga on the Benedict Cumberbatch one, isn't there? Well, yeah, there is. I've got the first two volumes on it. That, that's, that's the public conception of, of Sherlock now, is that he's like, you know, this character is kind of, you know, and it's the same for Moriarty, is that they're, they're these like socially capable, and obviously not. Um, Cumberbatch, uh, Sherlock, but like you know, kind of socially capable, go-getting young mm -hmm. man, isn't it? That um, was really not what I don't think was in, was uh, imagined when the when the books were written. Yeah, but, I mean, uh, would you say that the Benedict Cumberbatch one is definitely more accurate to the book? It's uh, it's accurate in some places, but they they're trying to do their own thing. But that's yeah. that's not a bad thing. I think I think what a lot of the um, anime versions of Sherlock try to do is that it's it's that version of Sherlock. Which doesn't always work when you try to transfer it, but this, I'd say this time they've done quite a good job. They were also very smart to say, yeah. let's not adapt any one Sherlock story, yeah. Let, let's just do our own. And I think <laughs> they gave an interest, like, Moriarty's not a character I'm ever really that fascinated by, but they gave some really great backstory to him that made me go, yeah. okay, now you've made me interested yeah, in Yeah, like, character. how do you make one of the most dastardly villains in literature this likable? Yeah. What was it that did it for you, Reese? that you really needed this to be up for anime of the year? I just really enjoyed the backstory of Moriarty, see where his hatred of nobles comes from, mm -hmm. and how that developed throughout his life. I was going to say, his first crime wasn't the most cunning, but it was literally a gas fire which probably would have been caused by the police. Yeah, that's at the one. At the same time, though, he was a kid. Yeah, exactly. yeah still yeah. for a kid, that is very clever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. definitely. Um, yeah, it's, 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 I can also do one, where he tells people to dig under into a bank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it did remind me of, um, of, uh, or the amazing, or the amazing double and triple bluff that they had with the, with the grapefruit. Yes. Yes, yeah, that was and great. Finally, someone proves what I've been saying for many years. Grapefruit is awful and you should avoid it at all costs. <laughs> it did remind me of, um, uh, his, his early relationship with the noble family of Jojo. Because he's a DO in that. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Oh, it would have been, how great would it have been? Yeah, if, if, by yeah imagine, sure. <laughs> imagine, if you, imagine if you just heard Moriarty just go, that well. <laughs> Yeah, well, like, he's like he's like a morally yeah. justifiable. It's probably one of the moments where right, where you can't see. It, just, it, to me, Dio, Dio wasn't morally justifiable. I'm just, gonna just, say no. Just, I'm just closing the dock. Yeah. One of the most brilliant moments for Moriarty when 
saw just how great he was, was um, when Sherlock was sort of singing with him, declaring that um, Moriarty had done the crime. So Moriarty wasn't, it was very difficult for Moriarty to get out. He just went, catch me if you can, Sherlock Holmes. Is yeah. that what you want me to say? Yeah, yeah. That uh, was a great moment. Can we give any major negatives of the talkers on Moriarty? Or even some minor negatives? Not really, not really. No, I mean, I, I, th I thought I thought the attitudes of the elites towards po poor people was probably that's a bit. Well, I've actually read it. According to modern day, I feel like it's totally dramatic. I mean, I feel like I feel like I would have liked to see more with the side characters because yeah. I feel like we mostly got this top season was mostly with Moriarty and Sherlock. Yeah, like I feel like I know more about Watson and Hudson than I do about um, half the people of of our uh, half of. Um, yeah. Moriarty yeah, also, um, also, and not just, once again, the issue of, uh, it doesn't feel like we really got a conclusion. It finished yeah. after, it, it's episode. preparing for season two. Yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll probably get Which I'm still looking forward to, because it's coming out next season. Yeah, yeah. so as so long as they do actually give due screen time to those characters, because we, we don't just want, like, the two focal. I mean, like, it's interesting yeah. to hear more. No, the manga is still ongoing after, like, I think, 12, 20 volumes. Oh, wow. So we still know it. But every time, it is one of those, every time you see the end of that, you just hear, like, the, the, the theme song, Dying Wish. Yeah, yeah, seriously, the, how is the OP not of the best OP? It's my it's favorite so of this year. It's the best OP for, of the year for me. I really okay. like it. Yes, it's a P. The catch a P. And when are we getting, um, when's the new fucking, uh, Robert Downey Jr., um, it's coming later than that. Oh, wait, were they making another one? Yeah, they yeah. get a third one. Uh, okay, I'll be honest. Kind of controversial opinion. The Bob Dowry Jr. Sherlock is a bit of a guilty pleasure of mine. Oh, I love it. I, 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 I enjoy it. Because yeah. I, 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 I know a lot of people aren't really that big fans of it. I'm in the middle on it. I think there's some good points. I, I, I think the genius casting was Stephen Fry's Mycroft. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Shall we, um, before we go too far into Sherlock stuff, um, <laughs> let's. Do some comparisons quickly before we drop things. Um, what do we think, OP wise, strongest and weakest? Uh, strongest, easily, Moriarty. Weakest? Uh, Honestly, Great Pretender. I was not that big on it. Though. For me, strongest OP, Re Zero Season 2. And weakest, Great Pretender. Uh, I'm going to say, uh, Ren, what do you think? Strongest or weak to weakest? Or no, I've got a few strongest, I can't really decide between I'd say my strongest was DNA, my weakest was... Um, so, I was a very close second for me as Kaki has done anything. Yeah, but the thing yeah. is, I've, I've got, I've got, weakest I'd say is uh, the Day I Became a God. Yeah, I, I, I think that's my weakest. I'd say Hands of Isaac Ken, uh, DNA, um, Love is War Season 2. Um, but you have to pick one. Hour. That's the problem. You have to pick you one. Six and they're already fucking good. You have to pick one. Uh, Tony Carroll probably. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, I really yeah. like that. I mean, ED. I was thinking it all the time. ED. Yeah, well, I just circle back. I ended up the the other game got it nine. The reason I put Great Pretender in ten was because it spoils too much of the OP. Yeah. What do you mean? Okay, ED's wise, what would you say is the best one? Juice. Uh, yeah, no, no, again, it feels, it feels blasphemous not to pick Rennie Mercury. Yeah. Yeah, and then last side, the, the day I became a god. Yeah, that's the weakest. Yeah, I, uh, uh, yeah, actually, when I look at all of them, that is definitely the weakest one. But that yeah. being said, the um, Rory Arthur one does sort of hit me on the head like a sledgehammer. Like, ah, what the hell, man? Yeah, I do so, I do so really like Rory Arthur's one. Mm -hmm. Keeping up with the um, um, music, uh, score, music score, which one do you think is had a really great score? I. Uh, DNA for me. Do you think that's, yeah, that's a good Best point. for me, a Great Pretender, I'm sorry. Uh, great Pretender, yeah, I'd agree Great Pretender, but I'd say a close second to Moriarty the Patriot. I'd say Hands of Isaac in there. Uh, see, there's a lot of points where there wasn't any music in there. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I think, I think Honestly, I don't even really remember one song from King Hands of Isaac in. Also, which one is that? Uh, no, it's, it's a weird woodwind instrument. That yeah, I'm um, I'd say the weakest one is. Uh, the day I became a god, actually. Yeah. Like, it's, not yeah. A, it's not a very memorable score. Yeah. I mean, as, I said, I, I, as I said, I did not make a good choice yeah, of that one. Right. No worries. Um, let's talk now uh, lead characters. Lead character. Which one do you think has the best lead character? Oh. Yeah, I, I put my answer boys in all girls. So for boys, I went with uh, Moriarty. And girls? Uh, Mitchell is the DNA. Uh, see, if I square it like that, it's still um, Trevor Cowell for me both ways. Uh, yeah. You know what? I gotta go with Kagi or someone. For best. Uh, for the, uh, well, I'm, I'm going to be controversial. I'm going to sound like a stuck record again. Fucking Isaac Ken was great. Was pretty fucking great main character. So yeah. that's the thing. Okay. And then, I mean, like, Love is War is also great. Um, which one do we have 
the best support character then? Great Pretender. Yeah, Great Pretender for me. I'd say Great Pretender as well. Um, Although I'd say a very close second to um, uh, uh, Kaguya Sama. Honestly, yeah. I'd probably say Jujutsu Kaisen. Oh, yeah, I realise it's more adjustable. Weakest I'd say to support cast. I kind of tend to say more else the Patreon because it is there does feel like a few characters that are not explored. Yeah, there is quite a lot of them. I think that's a bit of a problem. No, wait, hang on, it's got weakest side cast. It's definitely Hans of Isaac. Uh, no yeah, you know, I was thinking that. Yeah, Kimo Hans of Isaac. Yeah, yeah, actually, you're right. There's, 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 there's barely any. Yeah, there's like two interesting side characters. Yeah. Yeah. Um, antagonist. The, the, the best guy being the boxer. Best antagonist. Oh, Moriarty, easily. Uh, yeah, Moriarty wins this one. Although you could argue he's a protagonist because he's seen most of his No, no he's still an antagonist. I mean, when you look at Death Note, Light's the antagonist. What, what about Harry Rama? No, I think Rama, I think that's a good antagonist. Oh, so no, uh, I'm sorry, sorry. I thought we were different. Oh. Yeah, we are. No, I'm still, oh, yeah, no, I'm still going with Moriarty. Even okay. though Harry Rama has a great antagonist. Mm. Uh, so what are we thinking uh, performances wise? Which one do we have the best performances? Or like mm. best acting in the start? Re-Zero, maybe? Yeah, I'm going to say Re-Zero, actually. I'm going to say Great Pretender. I, I, did you watch, I guess you watched it in sub, then. Yeah. yeah, I watched it in sub. Uh, I feel like Re-Zero has great performances, though. I've seen Subaru's actor in particular did yeah. excellent yeah. this season. Um, a dub cast, I, I, how many of us watched the shows and dubs? I didn't watch any Not either. me. I, yeah, whatever we watched together. <laughs> I, I skimmed, I watched Great Pretender entirely in dub, and I skimmed the dubs of all the... I will say, um... Uh, Tanikawa was right in the middle because some of the casting is really good, but some of it is horrendous oh, yeah. choices. But um, it's we're not talking Food Wars dub bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, do not get me started on the fucking Food Wars dub. But um, it, it is one. Of, it is one of those I can't really shift to Tanikawa in the dub. I have to watch it in sub mm. now. But um, in terms of the dub, I think Great Pretender is a pretty good dub. Yeah, no, I think that's a good From the few things I've seen, I would definitely say Great Pretend Mori has the best one. That, that's probably one of the ones I would say you should I mean, I, I think you guys should watch it as well. I, I'd mm. like that. Which one do you reckon had the best uh, premiere episode, like the first episode? Oh, 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 that's a tough one. Mm. Did you just do Kaisen from Top Gun? That was a good first episode. Uh, I, I'm going to say Tony Kawa, actually, for me. I, I was hooked on the first episode. I didn't like it when I first. Sorry, that's just. My opinion there, but yeah, I don't know. I'll probably go with um, uh, BNA. I'm going to go to GTK. BNA. 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 Yeah, Corey Robin, BNA. Uh, weakest character? No, let's not go weakest now, because all these are pretty good. Yeah, all of them are. Um, uh, weak, well, weakest first episode, we did it with that one. Um, I'm not going to say David Demi Dolph for this one, because actually has a pretty good first episode. Yeah. Um, um, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. I don't think we knew it was going to be good when we watched the first episode of Hands of Isaac. Honestly, yeah, I'm probably going to keep your hands up Isaac. Yeah. I've got a feeling I'm going to say Afro Rodman for this one, because I don't think they do enough in that first episode. Yeah. Mm. It's, it's interesting. I, I would stand. I would stand though. Though you're right about Isaac, and it's not a great first episode. Yeah. Um, best final episode. Best final. Um, best final episode. Well, we can't say she's just a cousin because that's not finished yet. Yeah. Mm. So she's just out of this one. Um, uh, not great pretender. Mm. No, but I agree with you. Not for great pretender. Well, we thought so. Uh, DNA. Do you know I'm actually going to win on this one? Yeah. DNA. And uh, DNA actually does have a very good conclusion. Yeah, it does. I think he's. I think. I think Reese has got the money with this one. Actually, um, uh, I'm not going to say Love Is War, for example, because I think um, it felt like the episode before that should have been the finale. Yeah. And just it, it does feel like a few comedy skits to keep us tied until season three. Yeah. Yeah. And then the score gets blown up, <laughs> which is weird. Yeah. Um, um, honestly, I, I don't know. I'd say the BNA or Afri Rama. I really liked the last episode of Afri. What about the? What do we think is the weakest part? Well, um, Dare Yeah, Begin Gods. Yeah. I'll go with that. Yeah, there we can go. Yeah. Actually, honestly, I'd say keep your hands of Isaac in. Yeah. No, I was actually really early on this one. Isaac King just seems to at, at, at the very least, yeah. at the very least, you had they became God. At the very least, it was a nice send off. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Apart from all the implications. Oh yeah. <laughs> because of the implications. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that's. So if we go by on how we feel by the end of it, it's 
uh, God, the everything of God. If we go by technical reasons, it's Isaac Hemp. Yeah. Um, how about a uh, story structure? Which one do you think has the best sort of story structure? Hmm. I'm going to say Santa Cal for this one, to be honest, because I think like it had a, it did a very good job balancing the episodic with the actual. I'm going to say I'm going to say Cubby Summer. Yeah. I feel I feel like um, I feel like it had similar reasons. I yeah, say, similar right? reasons. Yeah. What about you, Reese? I'm, I'm assuming mm. you're going to say something like DNA or Great Pretender. I'll well, probably do Great Pretender because I quite liked how the arcs were focused on yeah. just the arcs and there wasn't much filler. Self-contained. Yeah. Yeah. It's very self-contained, yeah. You could have done each of, each one of these could have been their own season. Yeah. Jujutsu Kaisen was quite a good structure. There, oh. was, there wasn't much kind of wasted. Okay, um, how would we... What, okay, uh, weakest for this one... Just because of how badly it screws up its ending, I'm going to say um, The Other King of Gods, because yeah. it, it doesn't... It, feel, it feels like the story structure is completely fucked by the fact you don't have... Anything the villains have nothing to do by the end of it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because yeah, they're, they're one episode, they just completely gone without a trace. Um, I will say though, another one I'd say has a, not a great story structure just because of how it doesn't nail its ending as Isaac and I. I mean, Isaac and again, I think it should have ended on their premiere. Yeah. yeah. I'd, I'd say throughout. I'd say throughout though, if we're talking overall structure, I'd say that's quite a good one. Yeah. Yeah. But I, you've got the build up to each of the villains. And then yeah. Yeah. But then it's like, okay, well, the story structure. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, perfect. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't finish. Wait. Why are we still going? <laughs> So the story structure does involve all the parts. Yeah. yeah. Um, what? Okay. Here's here's one um, to to do. Uh, which one do you think is the funniest one we watched? Al Kaggia Summer. Yeah. It's yeah. Kaggia uh, Summer made me laugh the most. Yeah. yeah. Um, I I I get the Teddy Palmer again had a lot of funny moments. Yeah. The Teddy Palmer overall Kaggia. Yeah. No, no, no. I I I I I'm I'm uh, I know it's like. Yeah, I'll be honest. I, I didn't really laugh. That much with Tony Cow, I found it more wholesome than funny. Yeah. But there was some funny moments uh, yeah, in it. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't really call it a straight comedy though. No, no, no. no. Uh, Kaggy Sam is definitely more of a rom com yeah. than um, Tony Cow is. Though I do like the fact that she kind of has to tell him, oh god, you're ill, go, stop, go to sleep. Yeah. That's, that is one of my favourite moments in the entire show. For the yeah. love of god, go to sleep. I think a lot of the Cow's comedy was um, uh, uh, him trying to. No, it was from trying to prevent Master from getting together with uh, with Tum Tum being with. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, the mates as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just yeah. love the fact that Charlotte just so keeps saying, "What do you think you like about him? <laughs> Does he make your heart pound? Is <laughs> it sore?" It's just like Charlotte. There's a thing called personal space, even before COVID. Practice some social distancing. Um, how do we? Uh, okay, so I I'm trying to think. Now anything else we can do in the stop? Um, so sh should should we should we take off what we know we're not talking about? So I, I think no, no, we're going to mark all of them as a score. We're going oh, right, okay. to score all of them now. And it's going to be just the score. And yeah. what we're going to do is, if there's a tie at the end, can we, you not do the usual thing like ask on Facebook? I tried to, but the group I was normally in doesn't allow public things anymore. So I, I really? ran out of time to get a decent one going. Ew. So what I did instead was, I said in case that it's all our scores this year, but in case of a tie, it'll be whichever anime scores the highest average on my anime list and anime planet combined. So the total score out of 15 to get. Well, the, that's a Dare of the Game of God out, because it's the only one that scores seven oh. on my anime list. Oh, yeah, no, in, in fact, uh, it didn't, it didn't yeah. yeah, no, it's, I will tell you right now, for the spoiler alert, it is the lowest score. But it, I'm not, I was expected to win anyway. It's, it's for, it, if you add the anime planet onto it, it's a scope total uh, score is 10.42 out of 15. That's fast. Yeah. That, that, that being said, the, the highest scoring one, I'll tell you right now, I'm not going to say which one it was, but it scored... It wasn't a high, amazingly high score. Thirteen point four three four. I'll let you know. I'll let you know the exact order at the end. In case, but if, if we only go to this, yeah. if there's a tie. So it's so it's how I usually do it. Bottom one gets one point. Yeah. Top one gets ten. Let, gets ten. Uh, uh, what, happens, it, what happens if they're tied? Well, <laughs> well, no, there's no ties here. So there's only one anime that can win outright in the case of a tie. Like, what happens if the anime planet and no, no, none of them are ties. It all completely. Oh, okay. Because right, I, I took scores very literally. I did up to two points. So there is definitely there's no, none of them scored equally. So there is no chance of there being a complete tie this time. So um, and here's your final chance. Do anyone want to change their list in any shape or form? No, it's all right. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> no. I swap, can I swap? Can I swap? God with there became God with a. Uh, with villain ass. I can't. I know. Do you know what? Do you know what? 
No, no, I think we have to say final answer. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, though I would like to say, I, in the future, I would definitely have picked uh, villain. my next life as a villainess. If we, I could go back. We've made bad decisions on each time. Yeah, like, like for example, in 2017, when we Lights played Magic. Magic. I know. <laughs> I was on. Well, what was it? Because none of us saw all the same shows. Well, yeah. we, we, we made errors that time. We've made errors in. Let's, and Darling in the Franks was pushing it last oh, time. Yeah. And let's no, face I do it, think, I, honestly, I do still really enjoy it. I did think it let's, And let's face it, we picked Stars Alliance while it's about to have a terrible ending. Uh, we didn't see the end of the time not there. This is the number, in fact, it's Stars Alliance this year that we were liking at the time, and then we saw the ending and we went, oh, fuck, what have we done? Yeah. yeah. Um, so. The biggest regret on my life so far. I'm just going to check my score. My lot. Um, I am going to. I'm actually going to change two of them around slightly. After the comments you've had today, I've kind of realised. <laughs> so um, I've got my lot sorted. Um, I think we're going to start with. Uh, 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 um, who's locking in? I'm going to lock in now. Um, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm going to do my work because I'm. I'm uh, I, I thought we would not. We normally did it in the way we we did introductions. Yeah, we will go or, or not quite introductions like how we normally did in the animated seasons order. Uh, okay, yeah, so Reese, we'll start with you. What's getting one point? That is the day I became a god. Okay, what's getting two points? Who's oh. come, what's your ninth place? A party of Iron Man. A party of Iron Man? Um, then, sorry, Ali. And then uh, Teddy Cowler. Now, just so we know, just because anime is on the boss man list doesn't mean no, 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 I know, yeah. I know, and I knew it's not. I knew it wasn't winning today, so yeah. I'll be. I'll, I, I knew it wasn't winning. I'm just hoping it gets a medal. Then seventh, got the Love Is War season two. Whoa, whoa! I did yeah. not nice. see. Yeah, yeah. Really? yeah. Wow, wow, Reese! I did not see that one coming. Then six, got the Great Pretender. If you read, also just quickly, if you listen to these songs to the lyrics of that EV, it kind of relates to Lawrence. Mm. Like, you pretend, pretend you're still here oh, with Dorothy. Oh, wow. yeah. Okay, let's next. What's came fifth? I got eyes open. Easy breezy. <laughs> well, that that Joe, that that. And fourth got re zero. Honestly, it's a better to be high for you. Third, Jiu Jitsu. Kind of then. Second, Moriarty, the Patriot. And VNA was your number one? one? I'm not surprised, honestly. I, I, I love that show. I, even though I'm not a fairy. <laughs> but apparently someone on Netflix is. Uh, having VNA and Beastars well, on. Well, obviously, that means the top three at the minute are VNA, Moriarty, the Patriot, and Jiu Jitsu Kaisen. Yep. But um, let's go to Elliot next. Okay, number 10 is The Day I Became God. His own wife. His, God. his own kid. <laughs> I said I regret it, okay? <laughs> you I regret it, okay? And guarantee if I pick my seven first, it will be much higher. Yeah. Number nine is Keep Your Hands of Isaac Kuhn. Ooh, that's a shocking one. Number eight is The Great Pretender. So that's three points for The Great Pretender. Number seven, sorry, Reese, the DNA. That's close, huh? So, wait, that's three points, it's four points, right? Yep, four points. Number six is Tony Keller, Over the Moon for You. Five points for you. Number five is Re Zero Season Two. That's six points. Uh, Number four is Moriarty the Patriot. Moriarty the Patriot. So seven points. Number, so. number three is Jujutsu Kaisen. And that's eight points in it. Yep, so that's sixteen. Number two is Kaguya Summer Love is War Season Two. And of course, number one is Apare Ranma. Yeah. I'll be honest, I'm legit surprised myself that Apare Ranma is number one. Because, <laughs> like, I was thinking. Like when I picked it, I was thinking, you know what, I think Jujutsu Kaisen might be my favourite. But then it was literally just yesterday where I thought, you know what, no, I, I just prefer Afri Ramma more. At the minute, but there's a tie for first place between Moriarty the Patriot and Jujutsu Kaisen, both wow. on 16. But wow. uh, BNA is still there, it's got 14 points. And 13 points at the minute is on both Tonikawa and Kaguya Sama. Are we doing it? We're not doing the top three selection, are we? N no, it's oh, top, okay. doing your whole 10. Okay. I'll just put it now. Sorry? I was put there. Yeah, yeah, so uh, number 10 is. In fact, I put my one on there as well. Yeah, that's right. Like, so it looks like. <laughs> there we came across finishing with four points. Um, yeah. So it's number 10. Uh, sorry, I'll just. Number, number 9. Number 9, um, I've already run my story on it. Really? Yeah, so I, I, I thought you were in love with it. I liked it. I wasn't as 
to a few of the shows we've got on there as uh, I've, I've got to say. I'm upset that my finger on the yes not to remember. Yeah, sorry, well. I'm also gonna annoy Reese. Eight is Moriarty. Moriarty? Okay. Um number seven That is your dying wish. Number seven, Great Pretender, unsurprising myself with that. Whoa, that's your wild card! I know, I know. Um yeah. Number six, DMA. That's uh, five points. That's so right. so um that moves up to 19 points, tying at the minute with um, Moriarty. Number 5, ReZero Season 2, so 5 points. 6 points. So 6 points on there. How is it that, how is it that 6 and 5 and 6 on that? Um, um, it, yeah, I know, it doesn't make yeah. sense. Uh, 4, so 7 points to Tom Callum. Thank you, Ren. Oh. 7 points, 7 points to that. Uh, uh, hang on a second, that's, that can't be right. because You said 6 is 5, right? Yeah, but it's only on 8 points for a minute, so you gave... That, that's got a sort of... How much when you do? Okay, so I gave I, 8. I put it at seven. So that would have been. No, sorry, six. Oh, no, yeah, no, that's right. It's actually. Three and five to eight. Yeah, yeah. So that's seven, up. seven to that. Seven points. So that's 15. Thank you. Um, number three, Hands Up Eyes Again. So that's eight points, I think. That's, yeah, so it goes up to 16. Second, uh, Love is War Season 2. I'm honestly surprised you liked it that much. I oh, know, I thought it was great. It was really good. And so that's Point two, nine two. points. Um, ten points to just to keep that strong, so the surprise is no one. Yeah. Not surprising. So at the minute, Jujutsu Kaisen is leading with 26. Kagasama Love is Born is in second with 22. Mm -hmm. Moriarty the Patriot and um, DNA both have 19. Mm -hmm. It's genuinely surprising. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So obviously they're going to go from then. I have to say I'm sorry, Ellie. I did fall to put Afro around my. Uh, oh. Uh, but as I said, I'm not. I am. Pr I'm pretty sure I'm the only one who actually legitimately really loved that. Then it's Jujutsu Kaisen. Exactly. No, I because I, I was I thought it was gonna be championed by us and then it was gonna be anyway, sorry, continue. Then Moriarty the Patriots, yeah, that's four points, so twenty three seven points on that. Uh, then um, I had keep your hands up eyes open. Mm -hmm. So that's five points now, isn't it? Keep looking down when you use your book. Yeah, keep looking down at your crotch. Yeah. <laughs> And the video is after dark. Yeah, leave that to us. <laughs> One. Uh, then I went for DNA. So that's six. Six. Five points. No. One, two, three, four, five. Six points. Yeah. Six points. Um, oh, yeah. Wait, no, in, in six. Five. Six. Three, five. Then, uh, then, then in fourth place, oh. it's ReZero Season 2. Third place, I went for The Great Pretender. Mm -hmm. Really? That's Great. Great. Yeah. That's good. Number one is six. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's eight points. Eight. So that's then number two was Kaguya Sama. It was War Season 2, so that's nine yeah, points. And my number one was obviously Tony Cowell. Oh, of course. Three of us picked Kaguya Sama for our second yeah. favorite. That's it's legitimately surprising. It's interesting that one. The overall rates are very high. Mm. And indeed. Well, let's go through the bronze, the, I'm adding up the scores, and, well, it's a very interesting top three. Reese's two started out strong, but they just missed out on yeah. the medals. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, they have, have, I think they have. Oh, no, they have, yes. Um, so, the bronze medal, and uh, third place, went to ReZero Season 2 Part 1. Mm -hmm. Silver medal goes to, and I really didn't think this was going to do that well, Jiu-Jitsu Kaisen. I thought it would do better. Yeah. 29 points. Our gold medal and anime of the year in, for 2020 is Kaguya Sama Love is War Season 2. Well, Ooh. there's also the anime, the, an, the, uh, the MAO and the anime fan list. Right? Uh, do, we want to add, do we want to do that as adding the scores? Well, we, we could do them separate. Do them separate. But shall we say uh, Kaguya's won it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, woo! Not only that, also this is the first sequel to win our anime of the year! Hello. Everybody! Clap, Clap your hands! hands. And this year I get to actually do it, because yeah, yeah. I didn't break my fucking finger. <laughs> Shall I just say what the on, score... on Ren's burly ribs. <laughs> Shall I just say what the, the scores would have been if we added the two there? If, if, in the case of... Incidentally, David Kim Gold was 10.42. Avery Rama was next, it has a score of 11.2. Why am I the only one who loves that show? No, uh, Reese won't be after this one. BNA was next, 11.68. Isaac Hidden was next, it's 11.84. Then it's Tonikawa, 12.28. 28. Moriarty the this Patriot. Is weird. Moriarty the Patriot then scored next 12.34. Great Pretender scored 12.3. ReZero was 13.04. Judith Kaiser was 13.13. And 
the Kelly's band was the top. It was 13.8. Oh my god! Oh, hang on. Are we checking that? Exactly? It is. It's the top three. That's the top three yeah. exactly. But um, let's. So we wouldn't have been any different. But yeah. let, let's. Is it completely similar? What came fourth? It was Great Pretenders. Did Great Pretenders come fourth on our list? No, it didn't. Yeah. I was gonna say that would have been so scary. Yeah. I think yeah. Tony came fourth uh, with B and A. Uh, yeah, Tony Calder and BNA both missed out on a medal. Yeah. They got four. So both on my picks were at the bottom. <laughs> yes. Well, Sorry, yeah. The difference is one I still legitimately really love. The other I think. Because all three of us had Afro Roman in ninth. I, 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 I agree though. All three of us liked Afro Roman. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I absolutely. I'm not. I'm not questioning your taste on this one, Ellie. But I can't get into it as much as. No, that's fine. I completely get it. Like I, I came in today saying Tony Calder's not winning. Yeah, I, in all fairness, I went on saying uh, Apple and Ramos not going to win. Yeah, I, I knew BNA was going to win. I, can I say it came very bloody close? Yeah, uh, uh, also, yeah, also it's the only anime on here on um, Rotten Tomatoes got 100% critics. What is it? Uh, BNA. Really? 100%. Yeah, also. So it's so yeah. like critics of theories. Yeah. Also, this year, <laughs> not only is this the. Uh, it's Cardio 7 the first sequel to win our anime yet, but the only one that none of us picked first in any of these. Yeah, because yeah, no, at least one of us picked Bart. If you look at the other ones, at least one of us picked Bart Evergarden. Oh, three of us picked Bart Evergarden, <laughs> that yeah. Uh, except him. What did I pick? You picked the universe. Yeah. It was very hard. In, in all fairness, it did deserve, also in, deserve in that. Incident, yeah. um, and one of us picked Vinland Saga last year. That was Vinland. That was Vinland. So, it's a I suppose they picked JoJo's for the wins. Well, if it wasn't, I, I didn't wildcard it. No, no, you can, you can, it can yeah, count it as 2018. Yeah. Oh, that's right, yeah. So, incidentally, can we, t um, how do you feel about the fact it's the first time there's one that a bunch of us picked for second place winning? Mm, no, I'm happy with it. I am 100% happy with it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm happy with it. Yeah. I think it, it shows a collective decision rather than just yeah. being the can, can I just say, I'm very happy with myself. Because I was saying the entirety of last year, coming to the summer is amazing. Yeah, you, you guys are just like, okay, it's great, it's great. You won this year! Yeah, yeah. Boom! Well done, Ali, you've got that yeah. one. Elliot, <laughs> so I think you can take some sauce, Elliot, that you're two at the bottom, but, you're, but you won in the end. I won! You, you, you get to say, I liked it before it was cool. Yeah. <laughs> and, at the end of the day, uh, and at the end of the day, I can't think of a better, better place to end it. Yep. Yeah. You guys are... Just insane to hang out with, but we, but I can't. I don't love doing this every month. Thank you for all of it. Yeah, seriously, this is the best thing I do every. We, I do every month. I'm always so happy. I love this job. Really enjoy it. Yeah. Internet. But we have to say one thing though. What? I suppose you you didn't pick great pretenders for your number one ED. I yeah, I was close, but I thought I I I've had that dance in my head. Oh, very good. And as a tradition in, uh, in our anime of the years, Calvin hurts himself. Yeah. You can literally hear the penny drop after five seconds. <laughs> he goes, I did quite like that dance. <laughs> it's all dancing cats. I've got a lot of cats like him. I've got some of the cats in the air and there's only anything on it. I said to myself, I said to myself, at the time, oh god, they're going to bring up the cat jokes <laughs> and I'm not prepared for it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and on that note, well, on that bombshell, 2020 to fuck off, we're done with it. Uh, so, how do you guys feel about um, win winter so far? I'm, I'm really enjoying it. Mike, I mean, yeah. new slime, new promised Neverland, of course I'm going to fucking adore it. Yeah. I feel like some of the original stuff has just come out as well. Yeah. Like, I like the next game. Horror Mia is great. Horror Mia is great. Really good, yeah. And Black Arrow is very weird. The egg thing is weird. The egg thing's weird, but it's oh, great. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah, but Spider So What is a pretty good one. Yeah, but, but the pretty version version part is quite bad at times. Yeah, I still. Fine. I mean, it could be worse. It could be excellent. Mm. Oh. The, uh, the jobless one, I actually like more the episode two because they address them as fucking cool. Yeah, but yeah I do. I, I mean, I, I do. I do kind of like that one. And not to mention the uh, the one fuck with the kid who was in like a super powerful village. Yeah, that's really. Yeah, good. is it so like? That's like the final dungeon or something. That's yeah, yeah, he's got the final dungeon. Yeah. He's now going to start. Yeah, that's like the, that's like the uh, that's like. Uh, that's like a big child. surprise for me. That is Wise Man's yeah. Grandchild done right. Yes. Yes. Because yes. yes. one thing, they don't do the entire joke being that he's naive. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and also I like just the fact how you know the main love interest. She is insane. Yeah. <laughs> like they don't just make her generic. Like I. Just like, hey! It does. It does look like it's going towards a harem way, but that, yeah. like, that, that's. How do you 
yeah. but more like a comedic way. Yeah, exactly. So I, I mean, I'm looking forward to doing another year of this. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, right. definitely. I'm especially because we're going into our fifth year. Our fifth year, and uh, we are going to do um, something, I think, for our fa where we're going to talk about our all-time favorite anime mm. yeah. and why we like it so much. We're well, gonna, yeah, so, so should we talk about what we're doing next? Month? Well, I think that's what we're doing next month. I think because yeah. we, we need time to prepare for a. Uh, we're going to do a uh, one an anime recommendation thing, mm -hmm. but because we want to, we really want to do a massive love fest. We're going to next month. We're doing our why our favorite anime is our favorite anime. Yeah. So uh, Elliot's going to talk about Seraph of the End. Yeah. Rick's going to talk about Gurren Lagann. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about Eureka 7. And I'm, I'm uncertain. I, I probably am going to end up talking about JoJo. Yeah, right, I think you want an excuse to talk about why you think JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part 3 is one of the best I mean, ever. I'll be honest, man. I thought you were going to go with someone like Click Hill. That's what I was thinking. Because mm -hmm. I, I haven't reviewed what my favourite anime is in ages. So I need to think. Yeah. Also, I like to find, I like to know I still find it hilarious that my favourite anime is still Seraph of the End, despite all the things we've watched. Mm -hmm. And I will say, um, on, the, on that basis, and I'm going to be very interested in your argument on this one, because I'm not the biggest Seraph of the End fan, so I want to hear your argument for why you think it's the best thing ever. Okay. Um, we're also going to be doing Anime Mastermind as, to replace anime fights, because yeah. uh, we don't want to kill each other at the end yeah. of the vlog. Yeah, uh, like, I've, I've said, said, yeah, said our vocal cords. I've said many times before, um, I hate doing anime fights with the beers of shouting. Yeah. Shouting yeah. makes so, me so very we, uncomfortable. So what we're going to do is we're going to make some, we're, we're pick something where it's completely, um, just there's going to be a score at the end. We're all going to, we, what we're doing is we pick a video game and an anime that we really like. We're, we're going to get 15, we're going to, I've, I've, at the minute I think it's going to be 15 questions mm -hmm. each on each one. I'm obviously going to just get the link ready. I'm not going to look at the questions and just have mine read and read out mine. Mm -hmm. And whoever scores the highest gets the extra wild card this year. I so the thing is, Elliot was like, "Oh, I'm not sure I'm going to do that." And I said, "Don't worry, you get to pick what the subject of what the questions are being asked on." Yeah. So we're not going to tell you this time what we're ask, answering questions. So are, are we researching um, the questions, though, or are they on a website? Or I'm going to research the questions for all except mine, and I'm going to give you a link yeah. to the site I'm using right, and so say, that. "Ren, you're the quiz master for me. I need you to get quiz on okay, yeah. this site yeah. on." These two on these two subjects, okay. and just pick out one and say, "Okay, so um, with all that said and done, thank you very much for tuning into another year of Anime Amigos. We are we will be back next month with that. Thank you very much. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. Have a good night, everybody. Huh, huh, huh.